Gambian Talent TV In the pure con cacao for sun Tea you like Gambian Gambian Talent TV In the pure con believe Tea you like Gambian The bar and Gambian Talent TV In the pure con believe Tea you like Gambian The bar and Gambian Talent TV a circa role puar kanya nindi ruot la ila la ila ila la gambia gambia talent ala barika la ila la ila ila la gambia gambia talent ala barika la ila la ila ila la gambia Gambia talent ala barika la ila la ila ila la Gambia dawla jawara barika Gambia mamma jali madi ene get setan Gambia talent fila de len bay fi Gambia glamour Gambia fi si bi de kapi dama ne ku don daw na nga bay daw ku don halat na nga bay halat parce que original materials len ne dama ne yen ni nga xamne yena don halat naka la fan la ak fokoy amé ci jamman sri glamour rek nga ko amé fif fu way nek rek ñu indi la ko ci sa bunti nek ci sa bunti kër yow su dé ya ngi europe bul xalaata ti dara kol ñu rek ñu waxtaan ak yow be djubu sa pis ci sa bunti nek dama né jamman sri glamour mi né duma am bi tik dé dét man ci askan bi la nek fo len ma wo rek ma tax sri glamour hetti pis bo xala amal na len ko fi le semaine facebook taka pentu polman vip Batik, Instagram, WhatsApp, and I want to get it. Jambang Sri Lanka, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. 782-5587 or 299-2989. Jambang Sri Lanka, I'm going to get it. 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 Karosu Properties and Investment Limited, you can also get it. 20 by 20. Jio Beje, Kurama Beje. Nisun karo bu nyana la horomo kang iba wafila two hundred thousand dollars cash. Ika fumi mfane mortgage ka domo ni domo ni njoo katafu kari waro ibo wafila two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Kairosu Properties Investment Limited iba al content na sun karo. Kairosu Properties link us and we make you a home builder. Good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are watching or listening to us from. It's your favorite show coming your way from the Gambian Talents TV. The Nyokobai Show, Dilenko Indilnak, every week. Pa Usman Juf behind the microphone. I thank you all once again in the spirit of Gambianism. It's Monday. Happy Monday to all of you that are watching us on Facebook. Happy Monday to all of you that are watching us from YouTube. Those of you that are following us through the Gambian Talents TV, thank you for watching. If you are listening, to us through whatsapp we greet you all in the spirit of gambianism wherever you are we salute you it's monday um this is a show in which we bring you important people we bring you gambians who mean a lot to the country we bring you gambians who have a lot to talk about uh the last time i was on air of course i brought you an interview with alhaji manka the founder and ceo of um 
um, 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 state of mic multimedia, uh, a very promising young person who was here in America. Before him, I brought you guys uh, the chairperson of the Constitutional Review Commission, um, Justice um, Charno Jalo QC. Um, I also brought you an interview with um, Mr. Um, Bachili, Musayali Bachili, who is um, the leader of the Gambia Action Party. Um, yes, non len koy defé sa su nek rek dañuy jaxas baxas tabas nyabas we bring you politicians we bring you musicians we bring you media personnel and people in different walks of life um yes and today we have another special guest um in the person of um Mr um Yalamang Sanyang uh, also known as Stoneman uh, Stoneman nak um, might not be a strange name to Gambians uh, reason being Every single Gambian, I will say, every single Gambian may probably have encountered Stone Man somewhat, somewhere, somehow in your lifetime, knowingly or unknowingly. Why did I say so? We'll get into it. Because it is the same man whose image was on the Gambian Dallas before former president Yaya Jame put his image on there according to him. We will talk to him about that. But Bala Nyo Surirek. Tungo na detail niya natalo niyo yu at suny papa suny mak Mr Stoneman greetings to you. Thank you very much, Mr Juf. You are highly welcome, Manta Mangala. I'm also sending my greetings to you, neither the entire world, mm -hmm. who is always listening to the talented people of this world, which I am very proud of. Mm -hmm. We are talking about Stoneman. Out of the blue, out of nowhere, a face that we probably seen on the Dallas Sea for the longest, as you stated. We will come to that in a little bit. But if you were to Thank tell you. us your background information, who is Stoneman? Where are you from? Uh, Stoneman is born in Joytown. Okay. That's the Central River region, known as the JJB, mm -hmm. Janjangbure, and I was adopted few kilometers from Joytown, a place called Kuntawu, mm -hmm. that I attended my primary school from 1964 to 1971, mm -hmm. then later to Crab Island School. A year later, I had to go back to Kuntawu mm -hmm. without going to school for more than a year. Then I brought myself back to school in Kaul, 73, 74. 75, I left again, Then I had a job with Gambia Oil Seed Marketing Board. Later, they diverted to Gambia Producing Marketing Board, today known as GGC. I worked with them for three years, then I went to the coast in 1978, traveled in Mali, Ivory Coast, then back home six months later to Greece to drift the world, which I did as a seaman. From 1979, 80, 81, uh, I stopped sailing on ships. I did almost 23 countries in my life. And I've sailed three seas within three continents. I was in Germany for 12 years, married, had three children. Then finally, I come home for my vision, 93, which has been the stone circles to give the significance of my stones, my symbols, and my hidden pyramid. We will come back to that in a little bit. <laughs> All right. You giving an introduction. I just want to uh, urge the cameraman to adjust the camera a little bit because they are cutting your head off somewhat. Those of you watching us on Facebook, if you want to see Stone Man, you can actually go to our YouTube channel where we are live with Stone Man. Of course, I will share the link for you on Facebook. Those of you that are watching us through Facebook, if you want to see Stone Man, you click on the link that I just shared there and you will be able to see uh, the humble Stone Man at the end of the day. Uh, 
penko xarpo ngop wala ngalandu ñu ngi leen ay beggé ci seen deglu bu rafet ak seen setan bu rafet you are watching the ñoxo bay show here on the gambian talents tv sister hadi jawra fun mu ne um good morning mr juuf thank you hadi ñu ngi lay nuyu bu baaxa baaxa baax di la beggé ci deglu bu rafet bi ak setan bu rafet bi those of you watching if you click on that link i just shared it will take you to our youtube page where you will be able to watch stone man live and direct di ngeen jakar lok mom ki ngeen yaga gis image am ci seen dalas bi te xamewu len ko xamu len ko gisu len ko you want to see him live and direct click on the link that i just shared it will take you to that um uh link where you will be able to see stone man um you were born in janjambure georgetown in georgetown yeah. yes yes Um, tell yes. us a little in bit about Ghana, three names are very significant. Tell us a little bit about life in Janjambure growing up. Janjambure is a very historic town. Tell us about it. How was life in Janjambure? This must yeah. be this must be before independence I would assume. How was life in Janjambure prior to independence? Uh I'm very lucky to experience a bit about that because my grandfather was the chief clerk at the commissioner's office. He passed away in 1962. Okay. Well, and who was, days, Town, who was that by the way? Musanding Sanyo. Musanding Sanyo. Okay. Tell us That's more. his name. Okay. Musanding's father liberated the avenue in Joytown, that's mm-hmm. the Liberation Avenue. Mm-hmm. And this was the formation of the part of justice in this country. Mm-hmm. And Joytown has three names because the walls rotation is on the tree the brightness of the wall being the sun the moon the star and that's the image of the separation of our country the north bank river gambia south bank joint town is the only eastern island within this country mm-hmm. and we are 13 kilometers from the east to the west more or less about 2 kilometers from the north to the south and joint town joytonians they don't they know that these things are existing in joytown for example you are watching and listening to the nyohobai show from the gambian talents tv Pa Usman Juf is your host and Stone Man is our guest right now. Stone Man is in our studios in the Gambia. We are trying to reconnect with him. Wherever you are listening to us from, if you are on uh, Facebook, try to log on to our YouTube channel right now. You will be able to hear Mr. George um Mr. Stone Man Yalamang Sanyang. You will be able to hear and see him live and direct. You can join us right now if you want Adi to. Sir, mm-hmm. Please. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Go ahead sir you were breaking up uh uh-huh. yes you were breaking that up means, back. You, okay you were breaking up that yes. means okay mm-hmm. that means this four is what is the image of circle in a circle in a circular mm-hmm. the fourth one would be the move as the circle is that's the image of the sun mm-hmm. that's why the sun you have evaporation of the sun We will, we, will, we, will, we will we will we will we will we will come to that sir i want you to tell us about how life was growing up as a child in joytown how was life in joytown i they moved me from joytown at the age of 7 to kundawu mm-hmm. so i left joytown at the age of 7 that was 1964 mm-hmm. but then i noticed that in 1964 there were also some certain stations okay so they bring me to kundawu Mm-hmm. So you came to yeah. Kuntawur to go to school and then um what happened while you were in Kuntawur I mean you you told us I I have heard your interview in which you talked about um uh, you uh, having to leave the school because you felt that your colleague was maltreated some dudu sar what was the incident that happened with dudu sar that left you leaving school Dudu sar is around he is a close friend to minister of tourism today Ahmad Ba okay yeah he is still around at times we see us mm-hmm. so what yeah. happened with dudu sir we, we also we also many years back we were together in germany as well mm-hmm. <laughs> so the friendship was still there okay so what happened with dudu sir is what we would like to know when you were going to school with dudu sir something happened about somebody writing something on the walls in the bathroom what happened yes that was that was 1975 mm-hmm. around october beginning mm-hmm. our john was a teacher mm-hmm. 
Is he from Banjo? Uh -huh. And she just walked out. She just walked into our classroom and said, "Dudu sir, stand up." He used he assaulted, insulting mother to Dudu. So Dudu also paid back. So our John did like that. She went to the headmaster, which was Moses sir. Mm -hmm. And Moses sir in turn come back to the classroom and suspended Dudu for one month, which was totally unfair, mm -hmm. without even asking, not even knowing what has happened. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that was actually fair enough you know, to be told. Mm -hmm. Then we walk out the classroom with ourselves mm -hmm. to the toilet to see what was written on the doors. Mm -hmm. But actual fact, everyone knew that was not Dudu's writing. Mm -hmm. So we tried to bring back the uh, to to come and have a negotiation mm -hmm. with the headmaster. But the following day, when we told Dudu to come back, the headmaster came back and said, "Well, Dudu, I told you you are suspended for one month. Could you move out of this classroom?" Then we also talked with the boys. Myself personally, I told them, "Well, if Dudu is suspended, we should all move out. If not, the same shit can happen to any of us." Unfortunately, some seated, some went away. With myself, I had enough, so I just left home. Okay. That's how I left school. That's how yeah. you left school. At Crab Island, you yeah, attended Crab Island. Me. At wh what point in your life did you attend Crab Island? Uh, uh, when I finished my primary school exams, mm -hmm. I had to move from Fulakunda School in near Kuntau mm -hmm. to Crab Island School. Mm -hmm. Then I was living at James Senegal Street, number 30. Mm -hmm. And I attended Form 1 kids. Mm -hmm. We have used to have five Form 1s, mm -hmm. but I was in kids. So my second year in Crab Island, that was 1972, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, my stepmother I was staying with, she told me that I should go back where she should bring me back home to Kundo. Mm -hmm. But I don't know why, and I had to say no to it. So we had to move together to Kundo. So we came very late at night. The following early morning, they woke me up. I didn't even wash up my face. Then I saw a cameraman standing, a Europe, I mean, American Canadian Professor Evans, who excavated these stone circles and his team in 1972 without the knowing of Gambians. So the man took my picture and took the picture of my hands. Like you said early on, I, as I said, it's my face which is very right for you to say so, because the proof is with me. My stepmother, who witnessed it, still alive though, and symbols on all banknotes are in a secret. That is the pyramid. That's why Washington Monument, they falsify a pyramid on the roof. Washington Monument is in a hidden mm -hmm. the pyramid. That's the hidden pyramid. We will so come, to, we will come to we will come to this I will come to okay. the pyramids with you. So you left So nineteen seventy two, yes, nineteen seventy two that's when Professor Evans took that picture uh -huh. and the picture of my hands. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. So Professor Evans took the picture of your hands and then what? Did you ask what in the picture turn, was for? Uh -huh. In turn I told I told my grandparents which were Guru Ndao, the late CFO of nineteen I mean Kundau uh, Nyani district, mm -hmm. he was the chief from 1964 to 1976, that's when he passed away. Mm -hmm. And my grandmother also was there, had a juve. Mm -hmm. So they told me, this American or this Canadian told them, mm -hmm. I don't need to go to school. Mm -hmm. So they took me out of school, they mm -hmm. stopped me, that's when I lose my friends in Crab Island, mm -hmm. and we didn't even see us again. Very mm -hmm. sad. Mm -hmm. So I never returned. Mm -hmm. In turn, I was sitting at home for a year, two months, without mm -hmm. going to school. Okay. So a year, two yes. months, you sat without going to school. Professor Evans Yes, that is 72, first term, up to 73, 73. first term. Okay. The Professor yeah. Evans came from the United States, took a picture of you in Kuntawur, left with it. You never questioned, you never asked. Life continued. Exactly. Not, not exactly United States, but Canada. Canada, okay. When he was with a team with Americans, Europeans. Okay. And yeah. what was his yeah. mission in the Gambia? What was? His mission, his mission in the Gambia. Excavating stone circles of the Gambia because Gambians are not aware that we have thousands of these stone circles, not only Wasu, 
every second kilometer on the north bank of the Kambi, you find these stone circles. Mm. That's why they are symbolized on your bank note. So it was Professor Evans who found these stone circles, right? No, I wouldn't say that because they were excavated early okay. days, but Professor Evans did the groundwork of that sacred satellite in this country in 1972, which I'm sure of. In 1970, okay. So 72, 72. So you say every two exactly. kilometers there are stone circles in the Gambia, every two kilometers? In the north every second third, yes, on the north of the Gambia, of course. On the north of the Gambia, okay. Yes, uh, on that's the, why we, also, excuse me, that's why also every father lay a stone in his traditional compound. <laughs> All over the country, never mind what ethnic group you are. Uh -huh. What was the uh -huh. reason, What was the reason why every father lay a <laughs> stone in their homes? What was the reason? Because... Because we would say in all of Kitich or in Mandingo, Taun Berol, mm -hmm. what is Taunu? That is, what are you not hearing? If you see it, you never say it. For example, America, they have 50 stars on their flag. Who mm -hmm. is discussing stars in this world? Who is defining them? <laughs> EU to 12. Every mosque in this country is hanging a star. And if you're a good footballer, you are called a star. If you want to know your free job, Horoscope, you must see stars. That's the connections of our date of birth. Hmm. We will talk about this. I'm getting you loud. I am getting you loud Excuse and clear. Me. Uh -huh. I'm getting you loud and clear. Yes. Uh -huh. so, so these stones, they absorb mm -hmm. what is carbon dioxide and oxygen, stones and trees. Mm -hmm. That's the energy wall. Mm -hmm. okay. This is the connections of the sun with time. That's when we have summer solstice and winter solstice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Global changes of time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is the importance of these tools. They absorb heat from the system of the human. Mm -hmm. Okay. I want to take this one thing at a time. We're going to come back to the stones again. You sailing around yes, the sir. wall at some point. I mean, yes, the uh, Professor Evans took a picture of you and you left it at that. Um, you went back and um, started working at GPMB. What was the first name again you say before GPMB? Gambia Oil Sheep Marketing Board. That means G-O-M-B. It was changed in 76, I guess, with from Draper's time to Dembandao, the first director of Gambia Producing Marketing Board. Oh, okay. So what did you do at yeah. G-O-M-B? What did you do there at the time? I was at the rice mill in Kuntau, where I am from. Okay. I'm the check where the timekeeper, the storekeeper at the mill in those days. Oh, okay. And, yeah. um, yes, you did that. And after that, you became a seaman, right? Exactly. Okay. You sailed across Africa. You said you went to a few countries to explore Africa. Which countries did you go to? They were Senegal, Mali, and Ivory Coast. Okay. Then I came back. What yes. was your mission of then going I to came back. what was your mission of going to these countries? Uh because I wanted to drift. I want to know the world. But going through the back way, I feel it is not fair with me. Mm -hmm. So I decided to come home and make it in another way. Mm -hmm. Which I did after six months, that was eighteenth of May. 1979, I flew from Banjul Airport to Dakar overnight at Village Hotel. And then the next day, Milano, Italy, Rome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. Milano, Rome. Then end up in Athens, Spain. I mean Athens in Greece with the Olympic Athens. Did you need a visa at the time to travel to Europe? No, in those days it was very nice because. You only need pocket money and a return ticket home. <laughs> pocket money and a return ticket, okay. So you didn't yeah. need a visa at the time, I mean, to go to Europe. That must have been. No, no, we, that must have been we don't need that. How much was the air ticket, some, do you remember? Excuse me? How much was the plane ticket, if you remember? Uh, I think then was about 2,000 some dollars. Really? If I don't forget, because dollar was about... It is something but which the pound was for dialysis around. Really? Wow, two thousand dialysis took you to Italy 
Milan to, Italy. And Greece. <laughs> and Italy. 2,100, <laughs> yes. And I uh, in turn send the return ticket to my father. He received some percentage out of it. Oh, so he could return the return ticket as well. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that with the return ticket, gender ticket, and you get there. Ben and part because you didn't need it, you were not coming home, you send it back home, and then your dad was yes. giving a refund. Well, not exactly. these days because you have to, you are required to buy a return ticket these days. And if you don't return, you actually lose the other part. There is no doubt about that outright. But then let's talk about life in Europe, Stone Man. You got to Europe. Yes. You became a hustler. Exactly. You became a hustler. What was the first thing you do? Uh, I was with three other friends. I mean, two, three other people. I came from Untaul mm -hmm. When one of us was unfortunately, he don't speak no language beside Mandingo. Okay. So I had to, and the third person we came with, he was already there. So as we arrived, he had a contract. To go immediately so he left us to there and he doesn't speak no language beside mandingo mm -hmm. so now i have to be a guide i have to be his whatever mm -hmm. so i start also to see how i move out of those motels to a local uh, uh, housing of with, within the gambian society mm -hmm. which finally i could move all two of us there i try to get him two jobs or mm -hmm. three jobs but unfortunately, he doesn't speak no English, so he was unfortunate. And I was running out of pocket money. So I told him, well, you can still stay here. These people will help you to speak your uh, English language. That in turn, you can also have a ship. But me, I have to go now. Then I start sailing with a company we call Series of Perios. So we start sailing in the Mediterranean Sea. That's how you left. Um, uh, which country was this? Did you leave from Greece? Greece, okay. Greece. Athens, Greece, okay. So you yes, sailed to. When I le his name was Kutubosao. He's still there as a seaman. Okay. Bojang Sane is back home, mm -hmm. and Pasanyang is sitting here today as the stone man. Okay. <laughs> Pasanyang yeah. is in there as the stone man. Okay. So you said you went exactly. to twenty-three countries. You went there through sailing, right? Yeah, some of, most of them, yes. Okay. So how was, yeah. uh, how, which, uh, which, which continents are these in? Are they all in Europe or different parts of the world? Different parts of the world. For example, North Africa, Libya, Tunisia, Algeria, mm -hmm. Morocco, Italy, Greece, then to the West Indies. We landed in Corpus Christi in Texas. Okay. Then we bring the force cargo to Mexico, I guess, some people. Okay. To Spain also, we went on another trip. And then we make a trip with flowers from Florida, Pensacola, to Old Harbor in Jamaica. And then the next trip, we had to go to Kingston in Jamaica. Yeah, so after some time, my contract was finished. I had a friend in Louisiana, Lake Charles, 1217 North Adams. Teresa Augusta, but I feel America is totally not for me. I could have stayed, maybe whatever, like others do, but I don't like that. So I have to fly because my contract was finished. I was no longer in that ship. They gave me two weeks to stay in the States. So I left to England. Then I went to Leeds in England, where my grandmother's younger brother was staying since 1959 or 58 when I was just a year or two. So I wanted to know who he is. So I went there, stayed with him for three months. So I was running out of cash and my visa has expired. Then I migrated to London where I find me black jobs. I work in the Royal Gardens in the south of Kensington near the Cara Hotel for three months working 16 hours every day because I don't want to be snapped and deported. Mm -hmm. So I work hard 16 mm -hmm. hours every day. Mm -hmm. Within three months, I generated some money. Mm -hmm. Then I switched over mm -hmm. to Holland, which whereby I had a negotiation mm -hmm. to have a ship to work in the Rhine River. Mm -hmm. We have a Rhine River in Holland. Mm -hmm. It starts from Rotterdam and it ends up to Basel in Switzerland. But then 
it went as far as Poland, but they were a communist country, so we only stopped at Basel in Switzerland, Germany, mm -hmm. Switzerland, mm -hmm. Basel, Basel, Germany. Mm -hmm. You must have been making a lot of money at the time. I can relate, working 16 hours. I can see maybe the people that are watching you everywhere around the world can actually relate to what you are saying, especially if you are mentioning the cities and the towns that they were in. And I can hear you mention Jamaica, hear you mention Pensacola in Florida and different places, Louisiana in the United States, which I have been to yeah. these places and can relate to them. I'm giving a mental picture of those places. Those in Europe, in um, UK can also relate to somebody places you said you must have been making a lot of money at the time though didn't you uh actually not because i had later family in germany okay so before i couldn't keep a lot of money okay i had always i have the knowledge mm -hmm. that one longest day i must have it mm -hmm. But you have to symbolize. This is the mistake of the entire world. Mm -hmm. People do not symbolize banknotes. Neither the symbols on them are totally undiscussable. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. why money is magic. It comes and go. Mm -hmm. Easy come, easy go. It is. Mm -hmm. Yes. You speak um, I, quite quite well. You speak good English so far. I mean, and you never graduated from school, right? Yes, of course. Okay. Uh, well, how did you get to learn to be able to speak this well? What was your secret? What promotion are you doing? Is it not talents? Yes. <laughs> exactly. I have it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just natural talent from God. Well, let's talk about family life or life as a young man. Uncle must have been a player. We heard you heard about eight kids. You flew to different parts of the world. Of course, being a young, handsome black person in the midst of the white folks. I mean, hello, you give me hamna ne sanku one nchu uncle de jamu no juju right? Tuwa tuwa bila ndan ya bo so suma ase ro huma la gam. Tuwa bila ndan ya bo si very uncle ah. Wow, wow. Uncle bad man la on ah. Nyari jige na len mako jura te nyu hamna te on. Nyari jige nyu jura sa do mi te hamna te nyu. Wow. Okay, were you married to any of them or say you lo kenti nyu? I was very grateful to my uh, former wife. Mm -hmm. I have a big pride about her. Mm -hmm. She was eight months pregnant. Mm -hmm. And I told her what is our tradition. Mm -hmm. Our tradition is, mm -hmm. as a man, mm -hmm. if you have your first child, mm -hmm. your child should be getting born at by your mother's house. Mm -hmm. If you want that child to be accepted by my family, mm -hmm. which I convinced her, mm -hmm. And she <laughs> end up with came. Mujogi Eight Europe, Bandeka, Bandeka si Europe. Which country in Europe? Germany, Wiesbaden, okay. close to Frankfurt. Okay. The so. state is called Hessen. The biggest city is Frankfurt. Wiesbaden is just 20 minutes, 30 minutes drive. Okay. So you left so. with her and came to Gambia. Yen yara and anyo Gambia. Mugosi nefu. Yeah, the manyo, when I came, she followed me up here a week, a week later. Okay. And, and she was getting close to 18 years. I mean, she was uh, uh, above 18. But then the justice in this country, they said, you cannot get married at the justice without 20 years. So then, I had to go to this and pay $20,000 to get married. Okay. So I had to go to this and pay over $2,000 to get married. my marriage. $2,000 days, at the time. $2,000. Hmm. Yes. Lawyer Dabo was, was, was your was the witness at your wedding. Exactly. Okay. How did you... Yes. Who referred you to Lawyer Dabo? Who referred uh, you to Because him? Mr. Mbou at the courthouse told me I need a lawyer. Mm -hmm. And I feel Lawyer Dabo is from our neighboring areas. Mm -hmm. So what did she know? And luckily, he knew my dad and some other people. <laughs> so he became the witness. You paid him $2,000? Yes, as a lawyer to be that witness, of course. Did he, I charge, did. Did he charge you the $2,000? Of course, you, you, he charged me. Of oh. course, he charged me. Okay. So I didn't pay. Then he asked for it and I had to go do it. Because it was only his signature. 
That was too expensive. So it was too <coughs> expensive. You feel it was too expensive. He charged two thousand dollars. It was a lot of, of money at the time, though. Of course. Hmm? Of course. Two thousand dollars. It was a lot of money at the time. So lawyer Dabo, that was oh. how much you paid for your air ticket to go to Europe, from what you told us, right? To go to. Uh, um, Seventy nine. Uh, I paid about the same price. Very right. That's why they said it's expensive. So you paid two thousand dollars uh, to go of course, to Europe, and of then of course to lawyer uh, Dabo. Usain Dabo. Okay. Of course. Yes. Okay. So, um, what did he do for you? Who? Usain Dabo. Yes. He only signed the certificate as a lawyer to come to back up my wife, nothing, uh, not being twenty years of age according to the laws of the Gambia. But in Germany, eighteen years you can get married. So, and this should be under court, or according to the international law. Mm -hmm. that she should be allowed and she is also pregnant on their eyes again mm -hmm. <laughs> so i want to understand was usain Dabo um uh, confirming that your wife is 18 years uh, of age? yes of course yes that's what i'm saying that was what he had to do yes that's why we needed a lawyer and that's why he charged me that amount okay so it wasn't yes. about him or, or you having to get somebody putting your adjust the age of your wife to say that she is 20 when she was in 20. It was just to confirm that she's 18 years. No, no, not to thing. adjust go, because international law, like Gambia, they accept 20 years. Mm -hmm. in Germany, they accept 18 years. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's a fair deal. Fee do what for me say she justice be, more than lawyer be, back up. Okay. And yeah. what did the lawyer back up is what I want to understand. What was the lawyer backing at this point? His signature on my marriage certificate. So that's lawyer, all I so you I don't know what him and the justice man sitting there what was between, but I know they know each other move and lawyer Dabo. So Mbub and Lawyer Dabo knew it earlier and it was Mbub. Which Mbub? What was his first name? I forget I never knew his first name. It was mm. just Mr. Mbub. I mm. just met him shortly for the registration of marriage that's all i have with you oh. and you still no have your, you, sti you, you still have your marriage certificate no oh. i've lost that one you but the duplicate is in the, in the record <laughs> marriage okay. please in justice oh okay because it's mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's the so first weeks of december 1982. 1982 short after that marriage mm -hmm. my wife become a daughter in Bansan hospital Okay, your wife delivered, and how long did she stay in Gambia? Oh, well, almost a year to breastfeed the baby. Okay. Unfortunately, she had a yellow fever, oh. very sad. I was totally confused because I brought her here and all that shit started happening. So luckily, I was able to fly her back and directly to the hospitals in Germany. Okay. And then they stopped breastfeeding because the child liver was kind of also infected with that yellow fever. Mm -hmm. So the mom also, they stopped the breastfeeding and soak out all the milk. And from that day on, she don't know who breastfeed. Oh, okay. So yeah. you had uh, him coming over, you have her came to the Gambia, then how about your other um, uh, kids? Was, were they I, didn't, the I didn't have no kid. Okay. A friend kid I had on the site. Okay. But I was never married. Okay. You were, you were never married. Okay. So you went back to in Germany most, yourself or you didn't go back to Germany after your wife left? Did you go back to Germany of course, yourself? Of course. A few months later, I had to join her. Okay. And then 19, that was 83, end of a round. Mm -hmm. So 85, we become another boy, born 22nd of June, 1985 in Wiesbaden, mm -hmm. in Germany. So, yeah, then we were separate. Oh, okay, you are separated. Nga continued yes. li life, a young man. Nga you continued young man life and continued doing your thing, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I had a girlfriend, but they know each other, and she also was pregnant, and she also had a boy. So your girlfriend so, uh, and your uh, wife both became pregnant for you. <laughs> I had two children with my wife, and the girlfriend had one. Okay. Uncle, you're a life, life, a bad man, la wonder then, huh? I didn't have a I didn't have Okay. So you did all that. At what time did um, 
you come back to the Gambia. At what point did you return to the Gambia? Uh, I was coming for holidays, but there was a time I stayed for a decade in 10 years. I came from my home. Okay. And then that was 1993 mm -hmm. when the spiritual war mm -hmm. told me it's time to come home. We have a vision. Mm -hmm. So I subdued. I came home July 93. Mm -hmm. You came home July 9th. Okay. And what was that mission? Why you the mission somebody is the said, same. Somebody said, you were, somebody said you were deported. You didn't come home voluntarily. Were you deported from Germany? No, I declared self deport No? Huh? Yes. My passport was expired. They renewed my passport. So after the passport came back, they came with a different name. My birth certificate was written Yasa Sanyang, mm -hmm. and my passport I was moving all along with as Yasa Mang Sanyang. Mm -hmm. So the immigration didn't accept it, which is true. So I should send that passport back to the Gambia. When it comes, then I can get my visa. But before even sending it, I subdued, I don't go with the laws of immigration that I can get self deportation. They call self absolute. I was not escorted by nobody. And I even joined Gambians on an aircraft in Belgium. People like Sankel, he was sent to India, he was coming from India, sent by the same rice meal for mm -hmm. a course mm -hmm. in those days. I guess then, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you came mm -hmm. back to the Gambia, and what did you do upon return? Uh, like I said, I was coming for a vision. Mm -hmm. And I had three advices. Mm -hmm. Close your ears, put your eyes on your toes, neither what you say. So this is what I obtained and started my researches to know humanity. What are the differences as a Gambian if you come without nothing into your pocket back home and with a sickness? Should you be sympathized or should you be, how would you be accepted? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I was accepted in a way of craziness. <laughs> because okay. uh, who is leaving Europe, take a self deported come home, staying stranded. But they didn't see the abuse I had. I was using drugs. That's why I don't like it again. I get my life back home with my poverty. Is better than I stay there waiting to reach and die. So what type so of drug were you using? You were a drug addict. I, what type of, of drug were I you using? Drugs. Okay. I was using heroin, cooking, hashes, marijuana, alcohol. I know quite a lot of them. So you did all that, but, uncle? Of course, I did all that. How do you because use? Let's talk about that. I will want to talk about that a little bit. Heroin, for example, we hear about it. How do you use heroin? There are ways of using heroin. Some would sniff it, some would use it on silver papers, and some would inje uh, 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 inject it. Which one did you do? <laughs> I've experienced all. You've experienced all. How often did you all. have to take heroin? And where did you get it from? I, I don't want to come much back to that memory of my life, no. but I use all. You, you've used all. Okay. Yeah. So how about um the other types of drug? Like, did you at any point have to use all of this at one go? Or sometimes you use heroin, sometimes you use cocaine, sometimes you use marijuana, sometimes alcohol, or do you use all of them at once in your system? Uh, not all at once in my system, but mm -hmm. I could use different uh, types in a day. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. This yeah. Okay. Okay. You are watching and listening to the Gambian Talents TV. This is the Nyohobai Show. Pa Usman Juf is behind the microphone. Our guest right now is Mr. Yalamang Sanyang, who is, of course, um, uh, the man behind the Stone Circles at Wasu. Uh, we are talking to Mr. Sanyang right now about um, 
um, uh, 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 his life, his experience. He is the man whose face is on the Gambian Dallas, supposedly, as he said. We will continue talking to him about that at the end of the day. Uh, Nyungle na ibege yen yu degru di nyuseta anfuchi wa ene kachi nyene nte kwenye adu na penko kharpo ngopo wala ngalandu. Nyungle na ibege bu baka 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 dila dalal si nyoko bai shubi. Pa Usman Juf is the one behind the microphone. If you are watching us on Facebook, you can actually visit our um, YouTube page and listen to us through YouTube right now. Um, Fuchi Waine Karek, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for listening. If you are following us through WhatsApp, Tamit Nyungle na ibege bu baka 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 for listening to us, I mean through WhatsApp, we will take a quick commercial break and we'll be right back with Mr. Sanyang. Don't go anywhere. Karosu Properties and Investment Limited, ye can also dalen lamen karawa. 20 by 20. Jio beje, kurango beje. Ninsun karobu nya na la horomo kang. Iba wafila 200,000 dollars. Cash. Ika fumi mfane ye mortgage, ka domo ni ndomo ninjo, katafu kari waro, ibo wafila 250,000 dollars. Karosu Properties and Investment Limited, iba al kontanda sungkaro. Kairosu Properties. Link us and we make you a home builder. Welcome back to the Nyohobai show. Yellow Mang Sanyang Moi Sun Gesti Jamanaji. We are talking to him about different things. Before we went on the break, we were talking to Yellow Mang about life in Europe, some of the things that he did, and um, etc. We have a lot of young Gambians who are watching you, Mr. Sanyang, um, who might be using these drugs. I know you don't want to talk about it. It might bring bad memories. We will respect that for you. But what advice would you have for the young people who are using these type of hard drugs, the cocaines, the heroines, alcohol, marijuana, um, etc., hard drugs and, and, and weed? What advice would you have for them? Well, let them stay out of it. Why? Why? Why would you want them to stay out of it? But to experience. The addiction is if you have heroin, without heroin, you get pains, your stomach is running, and you're not feeling comfortable, you cannot eat. And then if you're using cocaine, if you use a bit more than what or whatever, it makes you paranoid. You'll be scared of yourself. So you can easily go crazy. Okay. For example, okay, alcohol as well. Mm -hmm. If you are addicted mm -hmm. without alcohol, your system is not in normal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Marijuana is something else. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Because it's neutral. Mm -hmm. So it's you are totally neutral. So you are those ones are all with chemicals, neither with hashes. Mm -hmm. Okay. But with marijuana, it's a uh, It's a uh, it's a different issue. Mm -hmm. So you are. Advising... But you get out of marijuana as well. Mm -hmm. So you are advising the young people to stay out of. Um, They uh, stay uh, out of it totally. It only waste your time. Mm -hmm. But there are certain people in this world. Mm -hmm. If they are not mm -hmm. toasticated, they cannot do things that they wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Like for example, stealing committing crimes mm -hmm. which I was not never doing in my drug career. Mm -hmm. I hate stealing and I hate cheating people. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you came back to the Gambia. Yes, talk about when you came back to Gambia, you said you were looked at as somebody, uh, you were stigmatized basically by society. Can we talk about that? How did society perceive you and what were some of the things that happened to you? Uh, society in this country is very sad. They would sit at one place, opening eyes, looking who has a nice car, who built a new compound. And then they start talking about it. Do you know this name is it? Do you know this name Zamba? Why no Amulogo? So that words, some of them will be indirecting me that I came from Europe. What have I done? So such societies and communities, I don't sit thoroughly. Such things I experience. And this country, if they feel you are poor, mm -hmm. you are belittled. So such things made many Gambians who came from overseas without can resist that. They all get crazy. All of them died. And our local people, they forget the human. Locke has escaped. 
some young people can generate whatever or can get whatever they have, but probably they don't live long life. There are people, they cannot make it up to 50, 60 years, and then they die with their belongings. So those are the basis of your horoscope. So if yours is not earlier, they would see in another way. Okay. So it's society still attacks you, society judge you, people call you names and everything, right? Of course, when you don't have nothing and you don't have nothing, 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 ok You said the no, ceremony. No, no. Excuse me. 1964 was the opening of the excavations of the stone circle. The opening of the excavation of the. 1966 was the ceremony. Mhm. 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 Okay. Yes. 66. Yes. Okay. So 1966. Yes, 1966. Yes, please. You said you alleged that a lot of the piety on for for all the elders who attended that ceremony. Never talked about it yes. until this day. Can you tell us what was the secret? What happened there so much? Uh, whether it was history, whether it was secretive or whatever. Whether it was good of or course, bad. What happened there? Yes. And that's what covers the whole world. What happened For there? For example, mm -hmm. yeah, what happened? In 1966, every 66 opposite is 99. Okay. They told us 99 names of God in the Quran and 66 being a devil number. How can that be? For example, Nyanin Kas of Nyani district, they said the three stones of Nyani times itself. Okay. Three times three always is a nine. Mm -hmm. And that's why every traditional compound in this country, our mothers lay three stones in the kitchen. That's why our country has a division of three. That's why T-H-E is even three. So three times itself became nine, the indicator. So they said nine blue starring birds came Uh, to nine branches of a live tree, they ate nine seeds, they dropped nine seeds, put nine seeds in their baby's mouth, and they flew with nine seeds. They left the nine holes of the stone, the nine holes of the live tree, the nine holes of the stone man. When the Quran came, they said nine names of Muhammad. Europeans came with nine planets. So they are all associated. Eleven times nine became the ninety-nine. So they initiated 26 alphabets of English, 28 of the Quran, total of 54. 5 and 4 is still the 9. And 9 is a magic number. In the Quran as well, they call Lam Zuka. That's the confinement hurting of King Solomon. So he man pulled down. Mm -hmm. So these nine words of the human is not known to us. That's why our country achieved its only name D, being Gambia with its nine word name. D is unique, G A M is three, B I A is three. Since H E G and I nine, we have separation of number and number. S O U T A D A N K is a nine. And formally we have nine. I will come back to that. I will have to cut um Stone Man and come back to that because the line was um uh uh, uh tripping. I will bring Stone Man back and we will talk about him. He's saying something very important about the number nine. Yes, you are watching and listening to the Nyohobai show from the Gambian Talents TV. We go back to read Stone Man just to continue the conversation with you. You were talking about the number nine and 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 it's important it's very important that you go back there can you repeat what you said for the sake of the listeners you were talking about the number nine the uh -huh. and the walls of nyani in mw walk of mandinga they initiated during the we are that means 
listening to and watching the Nyohobai show coming your way from the Gambian Parents TV. Pa Usman Duf is behind the mic. We are trying to connect um, Stone Man here um, with a more stable network. That way we don't have to go through, that way we don't have to go through all of this. We apologize for the inconvenience. Yes, Stone Man, you can continue. Uh -huh. Yes, you can continue. So these lines, mm -hmm. that's what they use as the Gambia. It's a nine word name. Mm -hmm. South Bank, it's a nine word name. Mm hmm. Bo Foni, Kia. Mm hmm. Jara, Nyamina, Fuladu, mm -hmm. Jimara, Fumana. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Sorry, we are trying to fix the audio here with Mr. Stoneman. We were having some technical difficulties there a minute ago. Mr. Stoneman, yes, you can go ahead. Continue. Let's hear what you were saying. We apologize for that. Stoneman's audio was um, uh, actually there. We will bring him back. Yes, Stoneman. Hello. Yen Balal Marek, one minute. Let me come and fix this right here. Uh, we are talking to Stone Man right now, wherever you are listening to or watching us from. This is the Nyohobai show coming your way from the Gambian Talent uh, TV. Uh, Stone Man is our guest right now, and we are talking to him from our studios in Gambia. Uh, we'll bring you that exclusive interview. You continue right with Stone Man here. Let's go ahead, Stone Man. We can hear you now. Hello? Yeah, so these nines, mm -hmm. English, nine billion use. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is the number nine. Mm -hmm. Right? For example. Mm -hmm. Yes, you say this is the nine, nine what? Go ahead. You say the number. This is the nine. This is the nine they are using in country. That's okay. why if you write president, it's a nine word name. Neither contestants or presidents were nine people mm -hmm. and coalition is a nine word name neither candidate or elections so where is the truth the nine is a magic number okay every educated person knows about this mm -hmm. so why should we hide from each other if we want to develop what is our nation okay let's go back to the number nine you said nine is uh, the, the gambia it's nine letters, right? Is that what you said? The Gambia is nine letters. That's what you said. Hmm? We are trying to fix the audio here with Stone Man so that we can get it. He's saying something very important. Yes, go ahead, Stone Man. I said D, D with nine. Mm -hmm. That is, D is a unique. Mm -hmm. The human. Uh -huh, the human. Mm -hmm. For example, that's why we, the human, I told you earlier on, the mm -hmm. nine holes of the hook is yeah, stone man. Mm -hmm. For example, I have two eyes. Mm -hmm. My ears, mm -hmm. my nose becomes six, my mouth seven. Mm -hmm. I must ease myself, neither I must go to the toilet. Mm -hmm. That's the nine holes of the human. Mm -hmm. That's the secret of the world. That's why our country achieved its name, the Gambia, with the nine, the human. That's why if you write one galaxy, it's a nine word name. We have a crocodile on them, our bank notes and the coins. That is the evaporation of the sun. And whoever, wherever you are, if you have a galaxy, just look on the toes and the fingers of the crocodile. They have 10 fingers and eight toes. One and eight still remain nine. C-R-O-C-O-D-I-L-E. It's a nine word. The rest of the country, we have 
salt water with the alligator. That's the images between an alligator and a crocodile. That's the images between a W and a M. Neither does the same images between Z and M. Neither the V is true with a Y. So mm -hmm. these are symbols they call alphabets mm -hmm. and camouflage the whole world with it. Mm -hmm. Who did That's that? That's why symbol. Who did that? Who did that? That's Who's why camouflaging the Excuse wall? me. You said somebody is, uh, that's, that's, that's what they have. They are camouflaging the wall. Who is camouflaging the wall? Those of you that are watching us on Facebook, if you click on the link that I shared there, it would take you to our YouTube channel if you want to see Mr. Sanyang himself. If you want to watch Mr. Sanyang, yes, we were just having some technical difficulties there, but we are back with him. Mr. Sanyang, your former wife yes. is actually watching you. Andre Limboy is watching. He said, hi, Pa. This is your former yeah. wife. He, she's watching. Say, can you greet him from Kadi Tubap? Kadi Tubab is watching you this minute, um, Mr. Sanyang. Um, Thank you. Grateful yes. to that. Yusuf Asaw said, this man is very intelligent indeed. I wish you all the best. Uh, Gunman GC greeting Stone Man and GT TV. Saps um, TV said, that's my dad, Stone Man. Uh, we the people of Kunta would love you so much. Um, those are people watching you from YouTube this minute from around the world, different places. So you were telling us about the number nine. You said uh, we have nine holes. Um, men have nine holes and women have ten. What are these holes? Exactly. What are these holes? These holes, that's the eye holes. Mm -hmm. We see and we hear, that's mm -hmm. four. We mm -hmm. breathe, that's six. Mm -hmm. We talk, that's seven. Mm -hmm. Whatever comes into our mouth, we must drink or we get eat food. Mm -hmm. We have to go to the toilet or mm -hmm. we eat ourselves. Mm -hmm. And the woman, she has extra holes. She gives babies. Mm -hmm. So that's 19 together, and you are in the 1900. You are in the 1900. <laughs> and opposite 19, you know what it is? Uh huh. What is it? 61. Okay, 61. And what about 61? Six and one is a seven. That's why we have seven stars, seven skies, seven art, seven rivers, seven seas, seven days a week, seven wonder world. And that's my kingdom, K I N G D O M. Neither my culture, C-U-L-T-U-R-E, that's why tradition and culture is still not defined in the entire world. Symbols are totally unsaid, Mr. Juf. Mm -hmm. That's when these Celtics rule us with progress, peace, prosperity, mm -hmm. with 23 world names. Mm -hmm. Come now to the kingdom with seven. Come mm -hmm. to English, England, mm -hmm. Britain, British is all seven world names. Belgium, Holland, Germany, Denmark, Finland, Ireland, America, tourist, tourism, Ahmad Bar, is all sevens. Say they are all but not really aware seven word names. Okay. But people are not aware of it. Okay. You particularly, you're not aware of that. No, I am not. <laughs> I know because I'm a guide at the UNESCO Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization. Uh -huh. I work at the Stone Circles. Mm -hmm. It's a UNESCO site. Mm -hmm. My capability doesn't exist in this country. Mm -hmm. I don't mind what mm -hmm. type of diploma you have, mm -hmm. but you can't still define your country's name. Mm -hmm. okay. The Gambia, you cannot define it in the absence of the symbols. Mm -hmm. Neither the absence of the sun, the moon, the stars. Mm -hmm. And the hidden secret of the world. Mm -hmm. Pyramid. Mm -hmm. P -Y -R -A. <laughs> P -Y -R -A I will come to the pyramid for you. Let's go back to the crocodile. I'll come to the pyramid. Tell us about the crocodile, the Dallasie and the crocodile. I'm showing it on the screen. People are seeing yes. you and seeing the crocodile. I'm seeing a crocodile exactly. on the Dallasie that opened its mouth very wide. And there are a lot of, I mean, it has four legs that are wide open. The teeth are open. Fingers. And then, yes, the fingers and all of that. Tell us about the crocodile yes. on the Dallasie as we are seeing you it. You can see the way it opens its mouth is an image of a pyramid. Okay. And that, <laughs> that image of the pyramid more... <laughs> I said in all of modern Yepubis and giving you come this is doing how hard it's been by. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So the six and one is a seven. That's the same time, the tail of the crocodile, they have pyramid forms, V's all over to the ending. Mm -hmm. And the tail end of the as a pyramid form. That's why you have the evaporation of the sweet water. That's when you have a crocodile. And that's what we Mandingos call 
bambu di aligeto we call bamba jongo so the alligator is the bamba jongo exactly they ah. eat human but the crocodile doesn't okay mota wa ba nyu lim men ni aligeto si alen so ngene why did they put the um um um, um crocodile on the on the dalasi because it's connected with that mind they have symbols all over their bodies neither wise and they have block layers joint lead line edge angle so these are constructional plan of the world that's why the scientists they choose crocodile repeat that block, crocodile. block, block what repeat that block block layers uh-huh like every constructional plan goes with joining laying line edge angle that's the five that's the magic so that's how M-A-T-I-C. the crocodile i see that's how the crocodile is made that's the image on, of it because the crocodile is fully with square symbols they call celtic symbols okay and they have y's on them and every language uses y in this country tell us with with give us examples why my why why my why mula why achu why cat why warad why why not fun why yo and ying and yang is waiting for you the snake and the stick ying yang need a yasin and ya love that's why everyone has to use the why yo yo ham ham hakika nganyo wa you are telling us some hidden knowledge here Of course this is your country that's why you are called the Gambia sitting there with those universities can help you nothing to do to research this country totally Mr. Juf Okay so tell us non Gambian is doing any research like me totally the whole nation mm-hmm. Where did you everyone get this, feel, where, where did yes, you get everyone this knowledge feel from Yes everyone to be graduated in Europe and America even uh-huh. when you come here you are the big man but doesn't exist mm-hmm. But where did knowledge you get is power Yes, where did you get this knowledge from? People are uh, some people is would... inheritant, is inheritant. Okay. Na mako dona. Okay. I don't have a teacher and okay. I don't Okay, you you you, you claiming you are claiming to be the, you are claiming to be the grandson of Musa Molo. Tell us about of that. Course. What is your relationship to Musa Molo? How are you Musa Molo Bandes has a daughter named Silla Bande. Mhm. Silla look on Gambia's 50 dollars bank note. It's a similarities of the same face. That's why you have a woman on the 50 girl on the 5 girl and woman that's a nine word name girl G R I L W O M A N Mhm that's why you have boy man men on those three notes the same nine appears boy man men okay yeah. three, three, three. okay thank you Okay. So, the, but tell us your connection with Musa Molo though. you haven't said you said yeah. Okay with Musa yes I just come to the daughter Nsila mm-hmm. Bande. Mm-hmm. Nsila Bande that was a daughter to Musa Molo. Uh-huh. And Nsila Bande's mother was called Jenaba Dumbuya, a sister to Fodeka Ba Dumbuya. Mm-hmm. So Nsila Bande is the mother of my grandfather Musa Ding Sanyang who died in 1962. Musa Molo died in 1920s. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Musa Molo the only returning king. Yes, he died in 1920s. Okay, how are you related to him is what I want you to tell us. That's what I told you. His daughter is mm-hmm. my grandfather's mother. His daughter is your grandfather's mother. Exactly. Oh, okay, which of your grandfathers? What is your grandfather's name? Musa Ding Sanyang. He was the chief clerk at the commissioner's office in Georgetown. Mm-hmm. He was the man who disappears in that island. Mm-hmm. Yes. And people will go and look search for him all over the island mm-hmm. they don't find him mm-hmm. and he will come home by himself mm-hmm. and he has a snake and a stick which i am totally behind today in the entire world mm-hmm. that's the health sector okay. why pro a uh, world health organization mm-hmm. symbolize a snake and a stick mm-hmm. who is discussing that issue in the world mm-hmm. who is the owner mm-hmm. i want to declare to the world that is time of returning of my kingdom time of returning of your kingdom exactly because that's the millennium because you are a star right tell i am more than the world star tell us about the star what is the secret of the we star we have differences of stars okay america eu they have five corner stars okay and they falsify israel with the six corner star mm-hmm. the same star was on gambians pound shillings and pence one penny we call bre had six corner star 
Okay. And they stopped this in this country in 1966. Mm -hmm. 1966, Gambians were driving left. They start driving right. Not, mm -hmm. not, not, not noticing left, right is a nine word. These are the country's name. Left this was the formation. Mm -hmm. You say left drive is a nine word. <laughs> of course. L-E-F-T, R-I-G-H-T. Uh-huh. It's okay. a five and four. Okay. Need a 54, F-I-F-T-Y-F-O-U-R. Mm -hmm. Okay. Need an ambulance that is bringing us to the hospitals to kill us. Mm -hmm. Ambulance is a nine word. High mm -hmm. blood is the fastest killer in this country, stroke. Mm -hmm. And it's a nine word name. Mm -hmm. And this heart transforms. Heart artist capitalist veins. So these people are putting these sicknesses on us. Who are putting it? Why they don't these say people who are the European? People? The okay. European, the American, mm -hmm. they are ruling the health sector. Mm -hmm. We even have what we call Medical Research Council in this country, which is 22 word name, mm -hmm. and that's magic number. Mm -hmm. That's why Yaya Jami stated 22 years. Mm -hmm. That's why Dauda Jawara is a 11 word name. Kaira, uh, David Jawara is a 11 word name. That's 22. The year he took over this country, 18th of February, 65. What mm -hmm. I'm is 9 and 2 is 11. The year 65, 65 became 11. And he seated 29 years, not 30, not 31. 94 to 19, uh, 2000, is it? Is 20, uh, sorry, to 94 is 29 years from 65 to 94. Mm -hmm. It's not 30 years. Mm -hmm. And Yaya Jame came in with 29 years. Mm -hmm. 219 is 11. James Jame, he was baptized with like Jawara with David. Has the 11 word name. Nida Yaya Jame with 11 word name. That's the same 22. He declared 22 July and seated 22 years. You think he's gone? The game is with the European. That's the Illuminati with that hidden pyramid. This is the magic in our country. Okay. Yankuba Ture is born 9th of June. Okay. The same game with nine. They jail all these soldiers in this country with nine years. Baba Job, nine years. All of them, nine years. Baba Job was nine years, They've definitely. Um, um, uh, nine Baba years Job. jail. Yes, Baba Job was nine years. And um, uh, uh, Sabali, all Sana of them, Sabali was nine years. You are right about years. that. Yes, you are right about that's that. A mm -hmm. that. That's a military sign. Mm -hmm. You go with nine people in every group. Mm -hmm. Okay. Policeman is a nine word name. This country we have countless police officers mm -hmm. don't read and write. Mm -hmm. This is all done by we the will, progress, we, peace, prosperity. We will come back to the nine. You were telling us about the stars. You said there are two types of stars. The five um yes. the five um and the six. Right? Yes. Okay. You say yes. if you go on top of every mosque there is a star. That's the five star, the six star the image with Israel. And that same star was on our grill, on our one penny in the Gambia in the 60s. Okay. And that star is the star of David. That's mm -hmm. the ruler of water, fire, and air. Mm -hmm. That's the total problem of the whole world with that climate change. Mm -hmm. That's why these symbols contain energy, water, fire, and air. Mm -hmm. That's why you don't need no square symbols, neither no pyramid. Mm -hmm. Okay. These are the hidden things, of course. Mm -hmm. So what does the star on top of the mosque? You say you go to a lot of mosques. Almost every mosque you go, there is a star on top of the mosque. Yes. Yes. What 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 does the um the star signify, or what do they sig um stand? Pausman Jub, Pausman Jub, as a Gambian, uh -huh. you know if you go to Marabu, they tell you Sabidi Moon mm -hmm. That's all about horoscope. Mm -hmm. And if you see stars with your eyes, you your mind is in darkness because the star the stars they uh, They in two divisions. For example, come together, lay for one another. Let's be honest, tell yourself in the victory. That's five. And then the next one will be Union Jack. They say, don't talk, don't see, don't hear, behave till you are told. And they bring divide and rule in the whole world. Who That's did? why red, blue, white is sun, moon, stars, the image. America, France, Britain, Russia, Holland, they all red, blue, white. Even your banknotes in this country, five dollars is red white, twenty or twenty-five is blue white. Do you ever notice that? And they all are writing twelve, red blue white. Neither sun moon stars. Neither Allah in the Quran or Muhammad Rasulullah will be all twelve. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Mira in the United States. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mira my son Sakus or 50 dash. They are all 12. Mm-hmm. 12 opposite is the 21. That's when they use the global changes of time in the whole world. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's up with numbers yeah. though? You talked about um, uh, Lawyer Dabo and the parties that were formed with nine. Let's talk about the number nine. The secret behind it, especially in relation to Gambia, Lawyer Dabo, you said was um, um, uh, uh, um, uh, 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 was in jail for nine ye- nine months, and of course the coalition it was nine parties. What can you tell us about that? Can you elaborate on that? I guess he even. Ha is a is a is a magic box. What is a magic box? Rule nine boxes is just like your mobile. Okay. You are watching and listening to the I mean, mm-hmm. the top side would be one and five is a six and nine is fifteen. Mr. Juve today is only fifteen. And come to three five in the middle. That's the eight seven is on the other corner. You have another fifteen. Come in the middle. Two five that's a seven, the eight. Go again between these three numbers. Four, Sorry, five, we and will um, uh, bring um, uh, Mr. Back um, right now. Uh, we just um, trying to get that fixed there in the Gambia, and the network was not uh, was kind of tripping somewhat somewhere. But we will bring him back right now. Um, yes, we are talking about something very important, sir. Um, and we are back. You were talking to us about the nine and and, and the like. Can you proceed? The network was tripping, and that is why we get that distraction. Can you continue? Yes. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Still with number nine. Yes. Number nine has been imaged as the nine names of Muhammad. Mm-hmm. They said nine planets. Mm-hmm. And they formed the oldest church into my island known as Methodist, M E T H O D I S T. That's why even the fathers, their hearts are pyramid form. Okay. And we Mandingos, we call it here Bambada. Mm-hmm. All fathers has a pyramid heart. Neither all churches, all mosques with windows. They are all with pyramid forms. Let's be aware. Okay. And look on our banknotes. Every Gambian banknote, look on the corners. You see a pyramid. All your gates. All goblins are pyramids. Every nice compound gate here, you find a pyramid on them. But they don't tell their own brothers. What are the significance of that thing? So where is the friendship? Where is the religion? Where is the humanity? (laughs) Mr. Juve. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Let's go to the Gambian banknote. Earlier you talked to us about, you explained to us about the Gambian Dallas that it is your image that is on the Dallas from what you told us. We've seen the picture of a young man, of course, that is uh, wearing um, a shirt. I mean, you claim that is you. Uh, what justification yes. do you have to tell us? I am showing the Dalasi right now, the ten Dalasi note with the image um, uh, on there. How can you co- justify for us or confirm to us that um, uh, this image uh, that we are looking at is you? Um, yes. Uh, by the way, you are watching and listening to the Nyohobai show of, from the Gambian Talent TV. Pa Usman Juf is the one behind the mic, and we are looking at the ten Dalasi note right now. We are sitting here with Mr. Stoneman who is claiming to be the man on the Gambian Dalasi. It's unfortunate, though, and I will take responsibility. We, uh, I don't remember at any point where we were told, uh, if anybody knows something different, you can let us know, um, the, the people who are on this Dalasi. I don't see anywhere on history where we were told, but Stoneman is claiming he's the one. So can you tell us, Stoneman, if you are the one on this Dalasi, and what is your justification or your proof? Very right. My justification is, I come to know it's within my nation, not one Gambian you would ask, is a five dollars a girl or yeah, a German in the front, what, what are the pictures on the back of it? Non-Gambian will tell you, or they will tell you cattles, but they would never count it. It's 14 cattles on the back of the five dollars, a herdsman and his stick. Okay. And... We have a kingfisher, a giant kingfisher in front of the five dalasis. And the man image on the back is Musa Amolo. 
he always penetrate fault. That's why those bats, they can penetrate any fish as long as they are seen to get you out of the river. That's that bird. The tendalasis, we have a sacred ibis, and we have three types of them in your nation. S-A-C-R-E-D-I-B-I-S, it's a ten-word name. Nida, the unique of the world with the sun. We have east, west, north, south, front, back, left, right, up, down. That's the ten races of the sun. That's why ten is a unique number. That's why if you write ten dialysis, it's a ten-word name. This is totally not known to non-Gambian. And without these ten circles, we never had what is a government from European, G-O-V-E-R-N-M-E-N-T. So ten is a unique number. That's my town's name, Joy Town, where I was born in 1957. Then we say Joy Town, G-E-O-R-G-E-T-O-W-N. My island is unique, and I'm born 10th of September. I'm preserving 10 circles. You are preserving and 10 my circles? Mom ha I'm preserving 10 stone circles in Wasp. Mm -hmm. And your mom? In which I have 9. And your mom? Has 10 my mom has 9 children, herself 10. My dad 11 with Modu Sanyang, and we're staying in Queen Street with 11. That's why $5 it must be 11 word name. <laughs> okay, tell us about your image on the $10 note. I am showing it right now. That young man, you said it's it's you. Let's talk about that. I came to age, 15 years of age. You were and we are, we are, we are, I was 15 years of age. Okay. And today we have the date number uh, on the 15th of July. Today. The 15 reveals a lot about me. Mm -hmm. My father has 15 children. That's the five star all over the world, which is not defined. Three times five is a 15. Mm -hmm. That's what these Europeans and Americans are destroying my nation with. Mm -hmm. So, the sun, moon, stars, if you write it, is 15. Mm -hmm. President Barrow, it's a 15-word name. His village, Mankamankunda, the same 15. If we recall our mind, on the 15th of January, a dog bite my president's son and he passed away that's right Sajos son. the gambia police the gambia police if you write it is also 15 word name mm -hmm. neither bansang hospital or sibanor hospital or makati island these stone circles they're all 15 that's the formation of the five star mm -hmm. neither parliament mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. these 15 <laughs> Is what if you put nine boxes, nine boxes, put five in the middle, mm -hmm. you play these 15 for eight times. Mm -hmm. And these 15 is the destroyer of the whole world. Mm -hmm. That's why we have endless peace course mm -hmm. laying stones all over in this country. Mm -hmm. yeah. Here is the land of the formation. Mm -hmm. That's what the Europeans know and Gambians doesn't know. Mm -hmm. We are the only country in the entire world achieved the name D before. Mm -hmm. What is unique about the human? Mm -hmm. What is unique about the nation? And this was the reasons we had Nyani Beresum Kurusaba. That's the three stones of Nyani, which image the brightness of sun, moon, and stars. And they supply the stones and the trees with the energy that we inhale as carbon dioxide and oxygen. Let's go back to our classes and recall our minds to our country yeah all of that is it's important that, all of that what? is important but you haven't told me you said the 15 means a lot to you this picture is you when you were 15 years old that's it, what i told you i it, told you my father has 15 children and we separated in seven sisters with eight brothers mm -hmm. s-i-s-t-r-e-s -E -S is seven okay d-r-o-t-h-e-r-s is eight mm -hmm. that's why you sitting there with network seven internet with eight that's why the human being I have seven holds my wife her eight. That's the account. Okay. You should account yourself. Yeah. We Mandingos, we have symbols and numbers. Okay. Europeans and Arabs, they bring us these alphabets of English. If you read English, you are European minded. You can never be a European. No way out. Okay. 
I am still trying to no get you out. to tell me about no the picture. No I am still trying to have you tell me. I'm still focusing on the picture. You told us you are the one on the on the Dallas. I am looking at the yes, Dallas. I am showing it. Yes. Tell us what makes you believe you are this picture. You said it was the picture that Sir Allen took of you. I am defining you. I am defining you symbols you don't discuss. Look on the back of that ten Dallas. You have X and squares, which is all over your carpet here, which is all over my hands. Look at your hearts on your uh, cartons all with sevens. Why you put them there? Do you tell anyone? And there are nine boxes here also on your cartons. So these are magic things. You said, That's what I'm telling you. You said if you look on the back of this $10, you have what? Because I'm looking at... X and, X and squares. Look on the back of on the corner. Mm -hmm. And you will see the pyramid there as well. That's the vision. We'll see a pyramid, pyramid. if you look on the back of the $10. On the corner side where my picture is, just mm. after the bird on the next corner, you will see V's and a pyramid. Okay. Okay. And the V's are on my hands. The That's the pyramid form. Okay. These are symbols. The square and the X on the back of it is right there on my hands. And my I have papers. These patterns are there. And these are on this possible. Okay. That's why nobody in this world discusses them. It's mm. in a hidden. Okay. These are things you don't hear about. If you see them, you never see them. Mm -hmm. These are samples that I'm giving you. Mm -hmm. That my knowledge is power. Mm -hmm. Nobody can stop it. And nobody can come to the end of what I know. Mm -hmm. Because I don't have a teacher. You don't it's have very expanded. Okay. I don't have a teacher. Yeah. Okay. Very proud of myself, Mr. Juf. Mm -hmm. Which we appreciate a lot, but I would definitely love if you yeah. can, if you can um, uh, uh, tell us a little bit more because you are making a claim here that it is your image that yeah. is on the ten dollars. You still haven't told me where did where was this picture taken? Do you still have this? I picture told you earlier days. I said this was taken from Kuntau mm -hmm. by Professor Evans. Mm -hmm. Professor he Evans. came here with a team mm -hmm. of different Europeans and Americans mm -hmm. in 1972. Mm -hmm. So that man took my picture and the first $10 came out, there was a secret satellite on the back. Mm -hmm. Today's $10 notes, they have bounced on them. Okay, so the satellite we are looking at right now, I'm showing both images. We are seeing the satellite as well as the one that has your image. Which satellite is that? I mean, the ten dollars is formerly the oldest ten dollars. Yes, they had a satellite, mm -hmm. and this one has a uh heart. -huh, that's it. That's the satellite, just like my heart. Yes. <laughs> yeah. There you go. You okay. see my heart. Okay. So yes, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So which sat So what does that satellite symbolizes? That's the sacred satellite, which is absorbing the energy, which is the controller of the seven compass with the seven holes of the human. Okay. That's why your state A M E R I C A is seven. And okay. they don't teach nobody to know that America is a seven word name. And why seven? Okay. Yes. So the bird, what's the name of the bird on the ten dollars? That is next to the image. Sacred Ibis Mandim goes will call Safula I can jam bondi sitting as a wadila. If I did a jumala boy sa young sa jam sa bajalu binakalama ninjinamku. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are watching and listening to the Nyohobai show from the Gambian Talents <laughs> TV. Uh, Stone Man is our guest right now. So um, the twenty-five dollars to the old man there is that still you? Is that still you in the twenty-five dollars note? Is it still your, is it still your image that is on the twenty-five dollars note? Uh, for that, I, my advice would be observers to mm -hmm. observe mm -hmm. the ten dollars, the twenty-five, as well as the hundred dollars. Compare their faces from the nose, eyes, mouth, and look at the ugly old man sitting here there today. <laughs> well, I will do just that. I, I will, I will, I will, I will place. I'll place. I will do just that. I will place your 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 image right next to it. For the people to see, you said they should compare and contrast. Thank you. 
you said they should compare and contrast your image together with um, uh, uh, that that image that they are looking at. So the people that are watching, they can tell. But uh, can you just tell us though if this is you, Stone Man? Just tell us. I wouldn't sit here as a clown uh -huh. and claiming what is not me. Mm -hmm. I said I wouldn't sit here as a clown claiming what is not me. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, I have knowledge mm -hmm. to define what I am into uh -huh. and uh, have realized the mistakes of my entire country, mm -hmm. which is mm -hmm. we're using this political whatever in the country. Mm -hmm. But our educators are not educating the people that this is progress, peace, prosperity, bringing this all shit in this country. Mm -hmm. neither, the, neither USA, mm -hmm. because you don't go to this country, you don't go to America. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, German came from America and did all these nonsense, whatever you call it. Mm -hmm. A warship came here and picked up Jawara, next thing gone. Mm -hmm. So these Europeans and Americans, they take us as clowns. Mm -hmm. They import into that, and today the TRRC is only us. Mm -hmm. And the symbol of the progress, peace, prosperity is sitting there. Mm -hmm. And you were told, Jata Moe Gaindegi, Jame Moe Saban Gobi, and Janti Ban, Janti Ban, the snake, the stick, that's the Sangam. This is the triangle. This is what is in your country. Mm -hmm. This is what is the divide and the rule here. Mm -hmm. Playing an image of a government when you are not a government. National Assembly is a 16 word name. You quote it and you go in there, you do nothing. L likewise, a director. Likewise, a minister. You quote it and you come in that office, you will never do what you quote it. That means one step forward, ten steps backward. You are watching and listening to I'm the listening. Nyohobai show. Um, uh, this is uh, Mr. Sanyang, uh, also known as Stone Man. Uh, Mr. Sanyang is in our studios in the Gambia. Um, people that are watching are saying hello. Yusuf Oso said this man is very intelligent indeed. I wish him well. Elizabeth Jata said the man of wisdom. Suleiman Sar said uncle what's the meaning of jail. Seku Bature say Mr. Juf, um this picture inside this um uh, inside of the Dallas note you will be never find the man in the picture or go with his um um well we are looking at the picture here mr sanyang you say what do you say we should compare but then the man in the picture seem to have a round face just like mine though and the man that is sitting in front of us has um a tiny face um <laughs> and and and, and, a, and a v shape you still come back to the pyramid your shape, uh, the shape of your head is like a pyramid. Now you tell us, <laughs> the man in the in the picture on the twenty-five dollars note has 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 a circular head, for example. Uh, what can you tell us about that? Did you lose some weight or something? Of course, there are three similarities. Okay. You have the past, the present, the future. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a young person, if they have your picture. Mm -hmm. Could be predicted in a computer mm -hmm. when you are going to be 50 to 60 years, mm -hmm. and those are those pictures. Okay, well, you, you told us you saw us, Sir Evan, but what I'm getting at is you told us Sir Evans took your I picture when you were younger. You told us Sir Evans took your picture when you were younger. Now, this other picture, when was that taken? The other picture that um, on the twenty-five dollars is that's the picture of a grown man. When was that one taken? Huh? That's what I was stating. I said if you have some picture, if you have a picture of a fifteen-year-old boy, mm -hmm. if you put it in a computer, you can predict his face uh -huh. fifty to sixty years. Is that not possible? It is possible. That's what it is. So this picture on the twenty-five years is. So are you telling us that the picture on the twenty-five dollars is is not a real picture? It is just an enhanced picture in which. Okay. They, hmm? From that ten dollars picture, and the one that made itself. But if you look also on the back of that twenty-five, mm -hmm. we have M and Ws, which is on my hand, 
-hmm. And in the front of the 25, there are monkeys, which the audience are not aware of. That's what the world says. Jipo Gola Mola Jo Harris. The three wise monkeys. Mm -hmm. They are all on your bank books. Look in front of that 25. There are a lot of monkeys, about six of them. In front don't of talk, them. don't see, don't hear, behave, if you are told to in the round book. You see the monkeys? In front of the 25, you said there are monkeys, right? In front of the 25 dollars. In front of the place, mm -hmm. there are a lot of wire boxes. Mm -hmm. Look inside those boxes, you see a lot of monkeys. Mm -hmm. About six of them. Mm -hmm. Did you see them? In, sir, in the non Gambian has not mm -hmm. non Gambian who I don't tell who never notice those two monkeys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, and 25 is a 17 letter, mm -hmm. letter word. Mm -hmm. Okay. We are looking at the boxes that you are looking at. 17 is this card. That's the space. That's why it is blue and white. B L U E W C I T. This guy is blue, but the sun, the moon, the stars are white. Mm -hmm. Not like Europeans. They're not white that way. But they call themselves white. The white paint is what is white. I'm not black like a charcoal. But you are so called colors black. are images. Okay. Col colors are images. These are images. They call us black. They call themselves white. Mm -hmm. Are they white like the white sacred eyes? No. Mm. Okay. Is the sun, the moon, the stars? What is white? Mm -hmm. The sun and the moon uh -huh. and the stars is what That's is white. That 25 dollars is, is white moon. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes, you are watching. And so what's the name of the bird or what bird is on the 25 dollars and what does it signify? What again? The bird on the 25 dollars is different from the bird that is on the um, 5 dollars, right? And of the 10 horse. Okay. And what does that bird sig signify? That bird, I'm not that much good with that one. Okay. But I know they are warriors. They make homes out of that light. Okay. And we have also, for example, uh, on the back of that 25, mm -hmm. we have a government house, mm -hmm. and on the top there are nine windows. Mm -hmm. and that's blue white again. Okay. Mm -hmm. You are. So you come to the 50 dollars. Mm -hmm. That's what you call Guinea Hoopo. Mm -hmm. If I write Guinea and Hoopo, it's a 12 word name. Mm -hmm. And the woman is Sheila Bande, also is a 12 word name. Neither stone circles or 50 dollars. That's the 48 hour. That's the image of the six corner star with the six eights on them. And they have six times of the triangles, that's 18. So 48 and 18 became the 66. That's when they use the stone circles to confine the whole world. And here we are talking about the 50 dollars, uh, right? Yes, that's the stone yeah. circles on the back of every 50 dollars you know of this country. Okay. Yes, you are right. That's okay. why you throw, yeah. Yes, we got the stones. These circles. stones, they are volcans. Behind the $50, yes, definitely, we have the stone circles there. And which stone circles are yes, there? That's, that's the stone circles at Wasu, right? Exactly. And we have 10 stones surrounding that circle. Okay. That's what? why the sun has 10 races, being unique. That's why the races of the sun goes with east, west, north, south, front, back, left, right, up, down. That's why 10 is a unique number. It's for the entire world. And they use 12, being the 50 dollars with 12 volts or stone samples. They use the 12 imaging 21, and they choose it as the global changes of time in the entire world. Mm -hmm. So my salt is every 21st of December. I mean, every 21st of June, 21 and 6 is 27. 2 and 7 remains 9. Come to the winter saltish day. 2112, 2113, 1 and 2 is 3. That's 6 to death. Every 6 is a 9. And that's what is today, Monday, M O N D A Y. 
Wednesday would be W-E-N-D-A-S-D-A-Y, Mr. Doof. <laughs> you are watching... That's why they told you every six look nine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nine is the ruler of the world. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. Uh-huh. So you tell I us about the nine... Nine is the ruler of the world. Exactly. So nine people came together to wash out Yaya Jame, right? Nine coalition... I mean, plus Yaya Jame plus was Yaya nine. himself, yes. Eight candidates plus Yaya yes. Jame, the coalition, eight of them plus nine. I mean, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You are watching... So under- these are... Mm-hmm. This, Go ahead. This is what was told by our elderly people with... Jurum nyen di puti wuya wuya, jurum nyen di pahi soto, jurum nyen di pahi adama, muju adina. And that's what it is. President is a nine word name. Mm-hmm. Policeman comes to the same nine word. Mm-hmm. High blood ambulance. Mm-hmm. Even Pasang and here sitting, oh yes, a man, he's all nine. Mm-hmm. And my mother get nine children. Mm-hmm. My father has 15, but my mother alone, we have five brothers and four sisters. Mm-hmm. Nine is my number. <laughs> you are watching and <laughs> listening to the Nyohobai show from the Gambian Talents TV. Tell us about the pyramid, though. We haven't talked much about the pyramid. Very right. Uh, we have a hidden pyramid that exists in this world, mm-hmm. which I'm proving, which I'm fishing out. Mm-hmm. There were 16 eradicated kingdoms in this country. Okay. Nine were on the south of the Gambia. Mm-hmm. And seven were on the north of the Gambia. Mm-hmm. And that's why if you write Gambia government, must be exactly 16 word name. Mm-hmm. Neither the Gambia Britain, neither the Gambia America, mm-hmm. neither the Gambia Germany. Mm-hmm. They are 16. Mm-hmm. One and six remain seven. Mm-hmm. Within the seven, we had seven stars, seven skies, seven art within the seven wonders of the world. So that kingdom belongs symbols. That kingdom belongs the snake, the stick. They call Kui Faya Kunining in Quran. But the Europeans call it Yin Yang. The same kingdom control the human. Mm-hmm. That's why Europeans are fooling us with food, clothes, and house. Mm-hmm. And if you think you have that, you think you have a big pride. Mm-hmm. But the nastiness you generated that you would never say it. So these are unfair things in within our nation. We cannot develop ourselves with such images, mm-hmm. Mr. Juve. Mm-hmm. So the pyramid, P-Y-R-A-M-I-D, is a seven, and this is the hidden kingdom. Washington, they falsify a pyramid on their roof. Mm-hmm. All banknotes with pyramids. Mm-hmm. Come to the English pound with pyramids. Mm-hmm. Your dollar there, one dollar is even a nine-word name, neither one dollar. You noticed that before? Yes. <laughs> I'm creating one dollar, picture. one dollar, it's all nine nine. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's why if you write Donald Trump, it's eleven word name, Adam Abaro remains eleven, neither US president remains eleven. So there's a magic wall. This is the ungratefulness of the entire world. <laughs> well, somebody Gambia Gambia who Gambia has written, he said, hmm, fifteen, a number for Barrow. Does it mean that Barrow will spend fifteen years? Ask him, please. The, the game is over. We want the returning of the kingdom. We are sick and tired of Europeans' administration in our country with these foolish NGOs. Don't <laughs> benefit us, only generate it out. <laughs> what does what does that mean? What do you mean by that? He is asking by what? Barrow, he's asking if Barrow is going to remain in power. You know, um it is said that President Barrow um uh, it's been circulated that he's gonna be in power for 15 years because um, no, no. the constitution um, oh. uh, um, uh, is about to be changed and and we will go to a referendum and eventually um, um a two term limit will be put there two terms of five that's ten Barrow's first five may not be counted so there are speculations and rumors that Barrow may want to stay in power for 15 years and this guy is saying because you mentioned earlier in your mathematics or in your dealing with the numbers you say be, 15 is a number for Barrow. So he is asking. No, I said, mm-hmm. I didn't say that. I said 15, mm-hmm. it's the five star. Uh-huh. And that five star image is what is Pentagon America. Uh-huh. It's a 15 word name. Uh-huh. Okay. Neither 
American British mm-hmm. will write you the same 15, it's just 8 or 7. Mm-hmm. Come to President Barrow, the same 15, his village, Manka Mangunda. I'm from Magadi Island, it's the same 15 in the Department of this church. Mm-hmm. And I'm proving the secret of that 15. Okay. And that's the 6. Still the creation of the world. That's why today, Monday, M-O-N-D-A-Y is 6. And it's the 15th. Do you notice that? Today is the 15th, exactly right. <laughs> today 1 and 5 is 6, spell Monday, M-O-N-D-A-Y. Neither if I spell Baro, Jawara, or Jamme, they're all 6. Neither Sakul, Mosque, or Church, they're all 6. Baro, Jawara, 6 Jamme is the main creation of the world. Yes. Baro, Jawara, Jamme yes. are all 6, huh? <laughs> With Jamme. Uh-huh. <laughs> and all of them had five word names. Uh-huh. Adama is five, Yahya five, James five, David mm-hmm. five, Dauda five. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. five is the guide, G-U-I-D-E. Five is the space, S-P-A-C-E. Mm-hmm. Neither magic, M-A-G-I-C, neither human, Bible, or Quran, or mm-hmm. motto, or music. They're all five. Mm-hmm. Neither phone. You mm-hmm. notice that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so he said, Dauda, you are very right, huh? Dauda, Adama. I uh-huh. am always right. Yeah, I said, yeah. I'm very proud of sitting here to enlighten the world with yeah. my knowledge. With you, are very, you are very right, but, huh? No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> manka Mankunda, uh, Manka Mankunda, uh. <laughs> You are very, uh, now you are killing. <laughs> manka Mankunda is 15, though. And that is bar of course. Man, that's bar a whole day, Manka Mankunda. <laughs> and wherever you see Adama Barrow's posters, there are stars, stars sticking on them with different colors. Red star, green star. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> America, mm-hmm. they have white star. Senegal, they put black star on their flag. Mm-hmm. Every Zander Mori has a star on his mm-hmm. bearer. Mm-hmm. And his mm-hmm. Unduri is Balahin with Super 8 World. Who is the star now? The best footballer is called a star. <laughs> That is right. And if I am proving them, what am I? Uh huh. Yes, you are a star uh-huh. indeed. You are watching and listening to the Nyohobai Show. Pa Usman Juf is your host. And Mr. Sanyang is my guest this minute, this <laughs> second. Uh, Mr. Sanyang, um, uh, yeah. you, in an interview you did with Fatou Samba over the weekend, you accused the NCAC, yes. um, the National Center for Arts and Culture, the Gambia Tourism Board, um, uh, uh, of, of, of a few things, of course. Um, uh, what is it with the National Center for Arts and Culture? Is it that they are not taking care of their responsibilities? They are not doing what they need to do? I mean, um, uh, in terms of preserving our <coughs> culture and tradition, um, you've accused them. Let me read uh, in your own words. In fact, I will not even read it. I will play your video. And we will talk about it. The interview that you did with Fatu, I'll just play the video and we'll talk about it. Stay tuned and don't go anywhere. Very let's, right. watch, let's watch this video. Of the National Center as I'm called it. Yes. <laughs> so what they don't want to come along with the people who know what is going on. Mm-hmm. So Boogie okay, this museum, you have to use our director general, mm-hmm. which is Hasu Sise. Mm-hmm. When we are graduated guides. We can be doing that in museums and learn more legal Gambia tourism board, learn more legal national center arts and culture, progress, peace, prosperity. The same symbol hanging in the TRRC. Progress, peace, prosperity. We are still not ourselves. We are doing no country. That's why if you write Gambia has decided, it's a 16 word name. If you write National Assembly, the same 16. Khalifa Salah, PDOYS, is using my symbol of a pyramid. Neither the releases of the sun, without defining what is the sun, what is the pyramid, what is the importance of the symbol of the flag. Okay. What is the symbols of red, blue, white, green? Let's come back to Khalifa Salah first. I'll come back to NCAC since I just played that part. You were talking about um, Washington uh, Monument. Uh, you were talking about people. I'm listening. Yes. But there is a big future. Terms. Let me see. And if you're ready, give them a cup. Janela is a highly guarding in So, uh, Mr. Mubarak. Yes. I, I, yes. I was, I was just, uh, playing. Yes, Mubarak. You were talking about. My mother, National Center, Arts and Culture. She really knew them. Because he came to define the more tradition, the more culture. Mm-hmm. Now, 
Ok, ngene National Center for Arts and Culture better define in lan moy tradition and lan moy culture. Can you break it down for us? What is tradition and what is culture? Before If you come to terms of tradition, mm -hmm. that is whatever series are doing, that's what is Jufen's tradition. Okay. But what is the culture of series? Or what is the culture of mandingos? Whatever mandingo or wolves are doing, marriage ceremonies, rustling, kankurangs, masquerades, all are all traditions. Okay. The culture is on said. That's why we lay stones in the middle of our compounds. That's why we have symbols on set. Every tradition would use, for example, Wallace will say, Bidivi Tuch, that is the squire and a triangle. That's why we have squire jujus. That's why we have triangle jujus. And all these ethnic groups have them. All these ethnic groups lay stones, but they all have different traditions. And culture there could be image of the energy. That's the humanity. That's why we say come together, lay for one another, be honest, tell yourself in a victory. That's why you cannot celebrate the culture in the absence of order. That's why symbols are on set. Look at your hands. Every human being, just look at our hands. We have X's, we have cross, cross, we have V's, we have Y's, we have squires. I have M and W here. These are name alphabets, but they are symbols. And this is what we had our early days. Mm -hmm. Symbols and numbers. That's why we account. Europeans falsify us with their alphabets. Neither Arabs with their Quran. And NCAC did That's not define this? Excuse me? You said NCAC did not define this? No, no. Uh, even you yourself. Gambian rule wa lan moy tradition lan moy culture lolu ñaari wax nga wa mota tourism board bi sa gtb gmcac and that's why if you write tourism it's a seven word name amad ba the same seven tourist the same seven <laughs> and i want to see amad ba with seven pyramids design on his waramba so he's aware of it <laughs> no repeat that Ngene to the Thailand. Ngene uh I said uh -huh. Ahmad Ba mm -hmm. is a seven word name. Okay. Neither tourist or tourism. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And I once saw Ahmad Ba with Adam Abaro's tour in Joytown. He wears a waramba on the back of the waramba there were seven pyramids. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. uh design on the waramba. Mm -hmm. That's why these warambas are all with symbols of the Celtics. Mm -hmm. You playing big with those warambas, the symbols, you don't know them. They are destroying you. Mm -hmm. Because it favors only the European. Mm -hmm. That's why they call it Celtic symbols. Mm -hmm. They use it on their trademarks as Hebrew, for example. Mm -hmm. Or the flag of Brazil. Mm -hmm. Come to your Kairaba Hotel in the Gambia. Go to your Jama Hall. It's all these nasty symbols which is defined nowhere. Mm -hmm. All the compounds in this country have the same symbols. Mm -hmm. In block forms, in metal doors forms, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. daumes, mm -hmm. all your bank notes. Mm -hmm. So they contain energy. That's where they were never set. Mm -hmm. I will prove more of this. Mm -hmm. So these are the symbols on your monies. That's why Gambian don't symbolize monies. Okay. So let me play a little bit more of your interview about NCAC and we'll talk about that. Tradition, we may add a people who all of the deaf do more is a tradition. Why learn more is a culture? Why is it a national art and culture? Do you want them? Do you want them? National Center Arts and Culture Museums, they have carry symbols. Symbols, they are on set. Symbol more take down Adama. Mota every symbol in these museums are all with pyramids. Square symbols. No no if you see it. Mota if you see in the far expiracy. Paski adina be near to addition. I can define what is a culture, neither what is deep and dumb. What is unique about the human and the entire world. That's the work of the National Center Arts and Culture. Mm -hmm. 
Nyong, they don't want to come along with the people who know what is going on. Mm -hmm. Okay, you say the National Center for Arts and Culture don't want to come along with the people who know what is going on. What do you mean by that? For example, all museums, you find only symbols in them. Mm -hmm. Pyramids, squires, and set up of all artifacts, they come in different numbers, mm -hmm. which people is a fortification mm -hmm. that is closing up the human's mind. Mm -hmm. What they say, monkey walk, baboon eat. That's mm -hmm. what is symbols. Mm -hmm. And that's what is all over museums. Mm -hmm. And that's why we we would say in Wolof, Langa Fidu Dega Soko Gise Dokowa. That's the network of, I mean, that's the homework of the human. What is in this world, you don't hear about. If you see them, you don't say them. It's more or less sense of hearing, seeing, and talking. What is the difference to that? That's what we would call locally, Njuli Selbe Botamba. Okay. So what the has yes. NCAC not done? You say they are not giving so people... This is what I'm saying. They're mm. not defining symbols. Okay. And they don't have capable guides like me. Mm -hmm. We are employed as attendants. Mm -hmm. But I'm guiding people. And when they have... Even the European EU ambassador is here in Bakau, Cape Point somewhere. I don't know. Atila His Lyle. office. Atila Lyle. Here in the... In, 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 here. Mm -hmm. Fajara, I guess. Yes, Attila Lyos is his name. Exactly. Yes. Ask him about me. He visited my stone circles. I guide him. And he told me, did Ahmad Bar knows about you? I said, no. He said, I would go and see, I would see Ahmad Bar, but still I didn't hear them. That's what the EU But he knows. Okay. Yes, I define those 12 stars on their flag. That's the part of the legion. I am the legion. I was born 10th of 9, 1957. That's when 12 countries came together. 56, I mean, 57 is, <laughs> that's the 12. That's why crown, snake, stick is all five. Seven is the wonders of the world. <laughs> Seven and five, 12. Uh -huh. Still the tree uh -huh. in the pyramid. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Well, somebody has said So that. that's what I said. Uh -huh. and, and with the Minister of Tourism, Ahmad Ba. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. These stone circles, uh -huh. they were excavated a few times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if we initiated and opened these stone circles, mm -hmm. the whole world will come. Mm -hmm. Then you initiate something into your country, define symbols that you make your offices beautiful with. Mm -hmm. Especially you, Mr. Juve, all your carpet here is all squires mm -hmm. with axes. Look at the hearts with seven spots. And every marabu will tell you, give a charity of seven candles, seven columns. Jerome Nyari Sondel, Jerome Nyari Guru. Jerome Nyari Meta Repis. New York, Jerome Nyari KDU, Jerome Nyari Meta Repis. Poblin. Jerome Nyari Meta Repis. Poblin. <laughs> you are killing us today. You are watching the Nyohobai show here on the Gambian <laughs> Talents TV. I guest... do. Taylor, 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 you dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. We are we are hearing from him. He is talking about all of these important things, these numbers. Uh, of course, Sirinchi Yaganenchi Lolo, Wanen Lolo. So we have you now. You have Jerome Nyari Sondel, Jerome Nyari Metari Peace, Jerome Nyari Kesi Tabak. I can relate to this. Uh, growing up, we often hear these things. Uh, people saying them. I knew when I began to get them. Then Santa sent the global effect. So what was your encounter with NCAC's Baba C? Say you said that for you was so much fake. All of you for young tech stones. You mean again? You come and eventually you get fired. Can you tell us about that encounter with Baba Sise? Yes, that was very sad days. That's when I initiated these stone circles and even if you go to Google and Google Stone Man in the Gambia, mm -hmm. it is there. I wrote it there. Mm -hmm. For many years it was an interview on the newspapers. Mm -hmm. uh, what you call Gambian Stone Man Speaks Out. Mm -hmm. My speak out there was, I came to the director of National Arts and Culture, being Bakari City Bay, after the graduation, being a tour guide. Mm -hmm. I, in, I told him that, well, Wasu Stone Circles is a vision, and there are nobody there selling tickets. 
Mm-hmm. So government is not generating nothing from what you and everyday Europeans are going there or tourists are going there. Mm-hmm. So he told me that place, plus Ginella, is a gym place. Mm-hmm. I said, those gyms, if they like you, you have a pride. But if they don't like you, <laughs> you will see surprises, things, and you don't come back there again. Mm-hmm. But he knew my grandfather. He knew my grandfather is his uncle. Mm-hmm. And he is much elder than me, mm-hmm. so he knew how I could be like my grandfather. Mm-hmm. So he said, well, you want to be like my uncle, start it, go ahead, go and see how many people are coming there every day. So mm-hmm. I went there without giving me no fare to Wasu mm-hmm. or Kundau. Mm-hmm. I did it, mm-hmm. and is I should stay one week and come on with how many people are coming there every day. Mm-hmm. And my very first night there in Wasu, I spend the night in this room, Sakus, mm-hmm. because I always hear Jimmy Mu Nekafi, Kusi Nyo Nekafi, mysterious things are here. So I want to prove it that night. I stayed it all night, eyes open. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So the next day I went home for some time. One week later I came back to Bakari City Bay. I told him, well, we have him 20 people every day in entrance. Mm-hmm. So he initiated all old James Island tickets and gave them to me mm-hmm. to sell them. Mm-hmm. And with the employment paper, I said, look, this is written James Island and this is something new. How am I going to prove it? He said, use your employment paper from our office. Mm-hmm. That means we direct you to that, mm-hmm. which I did. I generated eighty-six thousand dollars, noting all what I'm selling. Mm-hmm. In turn, he gave me a receipt of five thousand dollars. Where is the eighty-one? Really? He don't want to talk about it. When was and this? I say, when uh, was this? When was this? This was in nineteen ninety-eight. Okay. Back and Baba Cizé as well been the former director. Mm-hmm. also came there to get money from me, which I resisted, which I said, no, you know the accountant. Mm-hmm. So he's pissed off. He didn't like that, and we did a quarrel. And in turn, he left for Banjo. In turn, when Bakari Sidibe used that $81,000 without receipt from the treasury mm-hmm. or from the account side, and then kick me out of the job. Bakari City may kick you out. Uh, of course. Okay. On the around the beginning of July nineteen ninety-eight. Okay. So I told Bakari, I said, look, before I start this place, I came to you and you said there are jeans over that place. He said, Yes. Mm-hmm. I said, those jeans, they're my friends. Now they said, if you kick me out of this office, you will be moving out of your office. He denied. I said, the wrong is gone. Two months later, September the 10th of my birthday, he was kicked out of office. He's my father, but I wouldn't sympathize because I was used. Back at the city bay. Of course. Okay. He's my father. Okay. And Baba Sise also wanted to take some money from me, which I resisted. And in turn, after they kicked Baba, back at the city bay out of office, Mm-hmm. They replaced someone at my post, at my attendance uh, uh, job at the Stone Circles, who was more of comma. Two months later, when Bagari was kicked out shortly, he get also blind shortly. Who got blind, more of So, more of comma, he's living in Manna. Okay. So... I was called by the National Center Arts and Culture that by Mr. Juf and that Baba Sisi that, hey, look, you made Moro to get blind. That's why you wanted to get this post back. This nasty words was from Baba. I told Baba, if I am able to do that, I would make you blind. Then I remain the director of money news. I want to remain stone man. I don't need somebody else. So they took me. I went back to Wasu. Four months later, five months, Baba came. I laid some stones within circles. He said, I'm deforming the image of the circles and it's a UNESCO site. I said, yes, sir. I will move them immediately as you turn your back. But he doesn't say, he said, no, he wanted done now. I said, look, this is not Amity school, obey and complain. 
<laughs> just go, I will move them. And he resisted. So he moved them, I moved with the watchman, and then he came to Banjul, he told his director general, Mobijuf, as long as I am at the stone circles, he will never come for a trek. So I was threatened and kicked out of the job again. <laughs> That's okay. 98. Up to 2007, when they can no longer manage it, the same Mr. Juf sent for me to come back. I said, look, Afer Bang is off. Jil Maddahama, Jilad Maddahama. They are doing to yourself of his new legal fee. So what is the hatred between at, with it? Uh -huh. Baba will never move from Banyu to walk to the stone circles. Neither Mod Juf. His wife was For minister. me, who is there? Why don't you give me what I am due for? Uh -huh. So... New Dahatma, 2007, mm -hmm. they called me back mm -hmm. that they cannot manage the place. Mm -hmm. So from 2007 till date, I'm with them. So even Thank God, are... Baba is pension is gone. Yes, Baba is gone. And Ma how about Mr. Sidibe? Ma Mr. Sidibe is gone long since Modujuv is gone. Modujuv is gone, Mr. Sidibe is gone, Baba is gone now. Is that why yes, you are now? We have Hasum. We now have Hasum. Yes. Are you still working with them? You are still working on the NCAC, right? Yes, I am. Uh, I am employed as an attendant, but I'm used by the people as a guide. So okay. NCAC does should rectify that point. They need guides to all monument sites to expose their country. How do you expect tourists when they? How do you expect tourists when they are only going? with what was here written or heard initiate create new things we have countless of them in this country but we cannot get to that point to market our country to talk about our country thank god today you are there with us mm -hmm. the whole world is hearing what's going on mm -hmm. yeah Mm -hmm. You are watching the Nyokobai show. Definitely we are getting some insights from him. Uh, just to let you know, we'll follow up with the NCAC about these allegations that you are giving us. We will follow up with them to actually find out what their reaction will be. Are you threatened that your job might be on the line? I mean, you are still working under them and you are making these revelations. Linga Wahdavarede accusing Mr. Sidibe of taking 81,000 of Gambian money. I would never accuse nobody. What mm -hmm. has happened to me is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I am creative. I have my pride. I don't provoke mm -hmm. nobody but what has happened mm -hmm. to me. Manduma Balbali, Mandlima Watafojar. And I'm working with National Centers and Culture. Mm -hmm. I'm on pension now last year. Mm -hmm. I'm a freelance guy. I'm already familiar to that. <laughs> so you are Manduma not... Yode, Mr. Juf. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, no, I'm not a man. No, no, no. Uh, so Manda I'm not that type of Manda Ma Manda Masibo Roni. Dega komuna Manda Mayo. Manda Masibo Roni, right? Sajo biya ko Masibo Roni. Iyo ya mo fe ne halia mo fe te mangla wa. <laughs> yes, I just want to continue them. Right? Finally, Malajla, this issue of Halifa Salah, you said it. I'll play that video and then we will wrap up uh, the interview. You talked about Halifa Salah using your pyramid. Um, um, let's, let's listen to that and we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. So, Boogie, okay, this All right, um, museum, you have to use our director general, mm -hmm. which is Hasum Sise. Mm -hmm. We are graduated guides. We can be doing that in museums. Mm -hmm. And Lan Moy Ligue Gambia Tourism Board, Lan Moy Ligue National Center Arts and Culture. Progress, peace, prosperity. The same symbol hanging in the TRRC. Progress, peace, prosperity. We are still not ourselves. We are doing no country. That's why, if you write, Gambia has decided it's a 16 word name. If you write National Assembly, this is 16. Haifa Salah, PDOYS, is using my symbol of a pyramid with the releases of the sun without defining what is the sun, what is the pyramid, what is the importance of the symbol of the flag, what is the symbols of red, blue, white, green. So, now, what the um, government government doesn't feel so. So, Haifa Salah, you said, is using your symbol of the pyramid and he hasn't defined yes. it. Can you elaborate on that? Excuse me. Can you tell us more about that? You say Halifa Salah is using your symbol of the pyramid without defining the yes. sun and the moon and all of the things that are in it. What can you tell us? Can you elaborate on that? What do you mean? 
Yes. If you recall your mind, mm -hmm. American dollar has a pyramid. Mm -hmm. They root pyramid I, whatever. Mm -hmm. And EU, I mean England, come to their 20 pounds, they are all over pyramids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the same pyramid is the formation of the sun, the moon, the stars. Mm -hmm. That's why pyramid was constructed. That's my hidden pyramid in Wasu. Mm -hmm. And Halifa Sala was mm -hmm. there in 1966, which I am sure of, mm -hmm. with Fabakari Tombo. No, Fabakari Tombo Jata or Sidi yes. Jata? Sidi Jata. You meant to say yes. Sidi or Fabakari Tombo Of Jata. course, I talked to him. He was there in 1966. He was a teacher around my area. Who, Halifa Sala? No, uh, Fabakari Tombo. Fabakari Tombo Sala or Sidi Jata? You meant to say Sala I am asking you. Using, yeah, about the pyramid. I'm just saying how many... If they are almost the same age groups. No, you keep saying, what I'm saying is you keep saying Halifa Sala, and I am asking you, do you mean to say Halifa Sala or Sidi Ajata? No, 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 I said Halifa Sala. Yeah, Fabakari Tombong Jata is what you said, actually. Do you? Mean I to said say? Fabakari Tombong Jata also was there in 1966, like Halifa Sala. Okay, fair enough. And I asked Adam Abba, Adam Abba told me I'm not sure, but he was there. Okay. Nida Sadauda Jawara and many other people mm -hmm. in this country. Okay. Nida Europeans and white people, I mean, or British. Mm -hmm. So this pyramid is what is under the earth. Mm -hmm. And this pyramid is what is symbolized on Halifa's flag and a square. Again, he used the sun. And those lindings of the races of the sun is exactly 16, 1 and 6 is 7. He initiated FOIA, F-O-R-O-Y-A-A, -A, which mm -hmm. doesn't exist nowhere in the world. Mm -hmm. Who is honest? So you are That's suggesting that in... That's why wise monkeys existed. So you are saying, in other words, in 1966 is when Halifa Salah took these pyramids um, uh, and the inspiration came from the stone circles at Waso. Is that what you are saying? No, that's when he took the image of the pyramid. The image of the pyramid. I okay. said that was when he took the image of the pyramid. Okay. That's why stone circles must be 12 word name, mm -hmm. 50 dialysis or Halifa Salah. They're all 12 twelves. Stone and circle? 12 is the name of Ma. You say stone circle is 12? Mm -hmm. Halifa 12 Salah letter is 12. words name. Neither, neither 50 dialysis or sun, moon, stars mm -hmm. or Halifa Salah. Is also a 12 word name. Mm -hmm. And 12 images, La Ha Ilallah and Muhammad Rasulullah, as 12 twelves. Mm -hmm. And 12 opposite is 21. That's the, still the tree. That's mm -hmm. that triangle there with the pyramid. Mm -hmm. From my ear coming to my eye, running to my mouth, you see the V form. You said the 12, 12, 12 is what? The 12 is number 3. Number okay. 3 is the triangle. That's the pyramid mm -hmm. there. That's why mm -hmm. my country is separated into three. North Bank, River Gambia, and mm -hmm. South Bank. Mm -hmm. Sun, moon, stars. That's why they construct what is a pyramid. Mm -hmm. That's why pyramids are on set. Okay. Totally. Neither square symbols. Mm -hmm. Neither the sun, which he used with the races. And 16 races on them. But he they don't symbolize this to people. Mm -hmm. So that's cheating. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. These symbols are fortification. Mm -hmm. You cannot hear them. You don't see them. If you don't see them. How can you use it and put it in front of people? Mm -hmm. And you enlightening people. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Okay. So have you met but with Halifa Salah? You said you spoke to Adam about, about this. Have you met with um, yes. uh, Halifa Salah? Uh, a few years ago, then the Ademis regime, I once tried the Foraya at Talinding. Mm -hmm. But the way he appears, it's, I don't want to, uh, uh, to approach him that way I see him because I attempted and the way I see he looked at me or the way he probably, I don't know. So I was never interested. But I know the longest day we must meet. The longest day you must meet with him. Um, yes, of course. Okay. You were talking about Hamad Ba and all his stuff, how he had the seven um, uh, pyramid design on his Waramba. Uh, in one of your, in your interview with Fatu, you said Hamad Ba walked away. Can you tell us about that? 
What happened till Hamad Ba walked away from you? Uh, this was well before he been a minister. Mm -hmm. I knew him. He's my schoolmate at Kaul School. I senior him though. Mm -hmm. But the guy I stayed with in the same room going to school, no, was, his, mm -hmm. was a close friend of Ama. They came the same uh, area, mm -hmm. Pantanto and Njau. Mm -hmm. So I start telling Ahmad about why our fathers are laying stones in the middle of our compounds. Mm -hmm. So I just started the talk. He walked away. So I don't understand. This was before he became. So since minister. then also, I never go to his office. This Still was now. This was before I he became minister. I once met him at Joy Town. I say his hand. Koto koto nangadev manfi. That's all. So this was before he became minister. Yes, but since he became minister, we never see us. But my tip to him is: let him define the symbol of UNESCO. He will get endless tourists. That is that square symbol. He is covering himself with neither his government. That's the Celtic symbol. When we define that educational, scientific, cultural organization, the whole world will come. Those symbols belong here. That's water, fire, air, and air. Neither the human, my mouth, I is myself, I go to the toilet, my woman has extra, she give babies. And that's what is this country, North Bank, River Gambia, South Bank, Joy Town is the heart of the island. Okay. So if you were to yes. tell the Gambia government and the Ministry of Tourism under the leadership of uh, Honorable Minister Ahmad Ba, how to improve the Gambian tourism sector, in your view, what do you think should be done to improve for the tourism sector of the Gambia to be uplifted? For example, they bring Stonehenge in England. It's a lie. Here is the closest point to the sun. Mm -hmm. And the English people, they use our symbol, stones joining, stones laying, stones lining, stones hedge, stones angle within the circle. Mm -hmm. So they took seven as English, E-N-G-L-I-S-H. It's the same. And that's the formations of the seven wonders of the world. That's my kingdom, K-I-N-G-D-O-M. Mm -hmm. And 16 of them was eradicated. Mm -hmm. So what do you think the government should do in order to get tourism back on its feet? This country's government is working on a, what is a divide and rule. So we don't have our own choice. We are proposal to anything. Even you don't go to school, you can sit at Adam and Barrow's place. Because <laughs> everything we do. Okay. What pride do we have as a minister or as a president? So what do you think Hamad should do? in order to bring back tourism? That's the question I ask you. Let them define the symbol. I already answered that. So just defining the, the Celtic symbol. symbol. Just defining the Celtic symbol, that's all. And under it, that's when they found the formations of the time. They call summer solstice and winter solstice. Mm -hmm. And France, they have the lining stones. Mm -hmm. It's a combination of joint lead line, edge, and wood. Mm -hmm. They took hedge as an image. They took the lining. And they left us the joint, the lead, and the angle. Mm -hmm. This is the five pillars of the whole world. Come together, live for one another, be honest, tell yourself in a victory. Neither the human, H U M A N, or the brain, B R A I N. That's why USA will be 41 in my numbers, four and one still remain five. U is the universal, S is the space. Is the unique. <laughs> you are watching. You, you, you is twenty. Uh -huh. You is twenty one. Mm -hmm. Alphabet S is nineteen. Been very magic. Mm -hmm. and four and one is five. Fifty stars on your flag, which is still not defined. Mm -hmm. You are watching the Nyoho Bay. Now stars are there. You are watching the Nyohobai show from the Gambian Talents TV. Pausman Juf is your host. And we are talking to Mr. Stoneman, um, the um, uh, guide at the Wasu Stone Circle. Now, what is your take on President Barrow? If you were to tell us about President Barrow, what can you tell us? Um, how do you see President Barrow's government? So my prediction with the traditions of my country, I see President Baru is the last because they said we are we are Konanto Beri who Konanto Adama who Konanto. 
Okay. And Adama is his name. Mm -hmm. Adama is a generalization of a human. Mm -hmm. Baro is a hoe in Mandingo. That's our mothers use a hoe in the rice fields they call Baro. Okay. And Europeans have a push push they call weed Baro. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. Uh -huh. So these these are these are images that is within the scientific world. Mm -hmm. Adam is a generalization of a human. Mm -hmm. That's why they said Jerome Nyerere the Pahidom Adama. They be Adam and you will put talk. Mm -hmm. Nine people no contest. Aha, mota kuali so nine ako binda candidate nine elections nine. Mm -hmm. Lawyer that will begin a famous fee. You got take nine months. Mm -hmm. Who talk fee vice president almost nine months. Mm -hmm. One game money can see nine be. The series of nine be like do all the hearty man begin a bonus he added up. The nine boxes. The same you pay tax in this country. Very illegal. Never joke deal cruise. Everyone took bits. And bits are all about stars with this foolish magic word. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you think um, Nakanga is saying Guri Baro? That's what I said. I said it's likely that's the end of it. Nine. 20, uh, 19 because they declared Millennium War 2000. Mm -hmm. And this is the 19 I am defining today with the 19 holes of the man and the woman. Mm -hmm. And I'm preserving 10 stone circles in Wasu, which is from the north to the south. Mm -hmm. Kerbach has 9 from the east to the west. That's the V4. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So you think he's and cover, he's back I have nine circles. Uh -huh. but and how, four of them are all with nine stones. Uh, yeah, but how is he doing though? How is his government um doing? Uh I totally don't like what is politics because even one of his bodyguards or behind him called Yusuf Adrame, mm -hmm. he's my we graduated as official tourist guides, but today I see him as a bodyguard behind Arabaro mm -hmm. with friendship. I don't know how it happened. Mm -hmm. I'm not interested in government. I'm interested in progress, peace, prosperity, to step out of this nation. Okay. They destroy this nation. They still recruiting police officers in your country don't read and write. Where do you expect justice? All their symbols are all over these second-hand vehicles. The country is just like a stress. Everywhere you find these pyramid symbols. But people are not seeing them. And that's what they're closing our minds with, that we don't talk, we don't see, we don't hear, as long as those symbols are on our eyes. So you better enlighten more people, Mr. Juf, about these symbols of your American flag with red, blue, white, neither those 50 stars. Okay, so what do you think, Adam Abaro's government, what do you want them to do differently, if you were to advise them? Uh, I, I'm not interested in government. I said I'm interested in moving what is their government. That's the progress, peace, prosperity. Yeah, that make all of them out. Mm -hmm. When they come to the office, they don't do what they ought. To. So how can you go forward? Why don't you stop this? All securities in this country went with the oath of three breaches. Would you die for your nation? Yes. If you don't kill, we'll kill you. Yes. If you send you to kill, will you kill? Yes. That's the PPP. That's the three. GNA is three, GPF is three, GPS, Gambia prisons, neither immigration, GID, neither this KMC here, they have 19 wards, the same image of the human, Tali Ben Suda, his father is called Ahmed Ben Suda, he know about these two circles, neither with his two brothers, or three brothers, he see Ben Suda and see the Ben Suda and Tali Ben Suda, who once married my stepmother, Okay. Yeah. So at the end of the day, you said you are not interested in the politics much. You are not interested in governance, but you are working for the government right now. I mean, uh, I have work. Uh, I, I would call it in the sense of I'm working on a UNESCO site because non Gambian is capable to work there. So I work for the UNESCO, which is under NCAC. Yeah, but it's sad. But it's still under the government, though. And President Barron this is what I'm it. saying. You Who is the government? The progress, peace, prosperity. Yeah, but you have to. I don't like those people. They but initiated this foolish government. So you are here. You are here criticizing the government. 
if President Barrow I'm criticizing progress, peace, prosperity. The government is myself. That's what I'm proving. If no, but uh, there are people responsible for the government, and the president is the boss driver. You heard him say it. He's the boss driver, and he's yeah. gonna bring down. He will give for anybody who is not supporting his agenda. You are on that bus. In, you are so, in the exactly. Government. That's why. That's why I said with Adam who Konondo, we are we are Konondo, Berry who Konondo. That means the nine holes of the Adam, the nine holes of my stone. The nine holes of my life tree. That image is what is a coalition with nine word candidate with nine word elections with nine word, and there were nine contestants. And high blood is a nine word killing my country people. Ambulance the same nine. So that's why I cannot like the government because it's in a linkage. So you say coalition, you coali coalition, huh? coalition. It's a nine word name. Uh huh. Election. The same nine. Okay. Elections with S. Candidate Ele is the same nine. Elex elections, uh huh. Nine. Uh huh. Candidate. Candidate, the same nine would write it. Uh huh. What else? Neither your promotion yourself, it's a nine word name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Farafenya you from is the same nine. <laughs> Coalition. And you, have six, and you have six Johnson in the heart of Farafenya. Uh huh. So you say coalition, election, candidate, and then nine candidates too came up, right? And all, all soldiers were jailed nine years in okay. this country. Okay. All soldiers jailed for nine years. Okay. <laughs> this is interesting. Left, right me. is a nine word. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Left, right. Mm -hmm. N-E-F-T-R-I-G-H-T. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh -huh. Need a front back. Mm -hmm. Need a crocodile. Mm -hmm. Need a tone table, mm -hmm. need a west field, mm -hmm. need a cape point, mm -hmm. north mm -hmm. bank, south bank, they all nines, mm -hmm. Makati, mm -hmm. myself, Pasanya, uh -huh. and my real name, Yesama, mm -hmm. and I'm born in Makati, M A C C R T H Y, mm -hmm. born in September, S E P T M B R. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> and on a Wednesday, WNDSDAY. Achabu. Kondis is it, uh, Stoneman. Finally, President Barrow, still we are talking about him. Three years, Jordan, uh, he promised Gambians uh, that he was going to st uh, stay in power for only three years, after which he was going to resign. There are a lot of talks about this. What is your take on the three years or five years? Should the president stay for three years or for five years, in your view? Uh, as you recall again with three years mm -hmm. if you recall in your mind i started with the three stones of nyani mm -hmm. and from two, 1994 to 1997 that's three years after yaya jame mm -hmm. they said they shouldn't be account that's why yaya uh, yankuwa Ture never opened his mouth as the ttr the uh, trrc mm -hmm. you get the sense mm -hmm. Now, after the depart of Yaya Jame, three years again became another problem. Okay. And three times three there. Mm -hmm. The sun, moon, stars, they even excavated three dead bodies were killed by Yaya Jame, as they said. They put three dead bodies on the face of the screen that they excavated those dead bodies mm -hmm. who were killed. Mm -hmm. Only three of them again. Mm -hmm. And the sun, moon, stars mm -hmm. is three. Every mm -hmm. human being, whatever comes into your mouth, if you don't eat yourself, you must go to the toilet. If not, you explode. Mm -hmm. And you are enjoying that tree there with USA. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Jerry Jeff Toneman. Your final word to our listeners. <laughs> we have learned a lot today. Your final word to our listeners. <laughs> I am inviting every Gambian to my stone circles, to my wisdom, mm -hmm. and to my kingdom. Let's mm -hmm. prove who we are. Mm -hmm. The wisest man built his own kingdom, mm -hmm. and I'm there for you. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm, my vision is. Mm -hmm. Symbols are the kingdom. Mm -hmm. And all this country, all your compound gates, monies, sewing designs, entering your compound gates are all my symbols mm -hmm. and everybody is doing it in a hidden let's stop doing what is height don't talk don't see don't hear should be over 
-hmm. We should see here and talk. Mm -hmm. That's what is the humanity. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Mr. Juf. Thank you very much, Stone Man. You are watching Nyokobai Show on the Gambian Talents TV. Pa Usman Juf is your host, and Stone Man is our guest, Pa Yelman Sanyang, who, of course, uh, claimed his image is on the Gambian Dallas Sea and has broken that down for us. Who has claimed that the former vice president and current secretary general of the United Democratic Party, lawyer Usenu Dabo, was the witness to his marriage back in the 80s? Who has claimed that um, the former um, uh, director of NCAC, Mr. Sidibe, has taken over 81,000, about 81,000 of Gambian Dallas's, which he collected at the Wasu Stone Circle, who claimed that the Honorable Halifa Salah of the PDOIS is using his symbol of the pyramid without defining it very well, and who has claimed several other things here you've heard what he said um it was a very interesting interview yalamang is very vast with numbers there is something with numbers that he knows he had some hidden knowledge according to what he is telling us uh, we thank him for honoring our invitation and for talking to us uh we promise to get back to you guys or bring you more shows more programs every single time here on the gambian talents tv it was Pa Usman Juf Malin on Hostel Program B. If this is your first time following us on Instagram, Twitter, or Snapchat, or Facebook, or YouTube, you can like our page, Gambian Talents Promotion. You can subscribe to our channel, Gambian Talents, on YouTube. Or you can follow up us on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat on Gambian Talents. Kepa kunyu deglu, kepa kunyu setan si jamono jinyung lai bege bu bacha bacha bach. Sehuba ture on YouTube said, I will tell you, tradition is uh, by writing, culture is by doing. This is the two words, uh, two words. But when you check it inside, all the same. I am Mr. Sen. Uh, MS says with the number and the symbol, you can see somebody's future. Every name have a number and a symbol. Elimanjai said, Stone Man is very intelligent. He knows what he's talking about. MS says, with the number and the symbol, you can tell somebody's future. You can predict somebody's uh, destiny. Mom uh, Fufu again, Baba Jawara say, my dad is too much. Um, he says, this is uh, my dad. Um, Gambia, oh, Gambia say, hmm, our next president is my, my first, myself, because my first name has five letters. And my surname has six letters. <laughs> Since I had Jame and Adam Abaro and Sada the Jawara, all of them uh, have a first name of five letters and second name of um, uh, six letters. He said his first name has five letters and his second name has six letters. As a result, he will be the next president of the Gambia. So, you can get him to learn to learn what you can learn to learn to Gambian Talents TV. Seni you can learn to 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 Bopa at the end of the day, you've seen the wonderful programs we continue to bring you guys. Kepenko Harpongopu Walangalandu at every point. Konyungle na nyak pungen japale nyundak sungen nyu japale mo japale sen bopa dina tak platform begin adem kanam. Until we come your way again tomorrow, we have other programs for you here on the Gambian Talent TV. Pa Usman Juf Nekal Lenti Gana microphone with Stone Man was our guest. Thank you very much, Stone Man, for honoring this invitation. Till we come your way again next week with the Nyokobai show. Um, in the meantime, stay tuned with other programs and other shows that you bring you during India. Thank you very much. Twenty by twenty. Yo beje, kurang beje. Ninsun karo bunya na la horomo kang. Iba wa fila two hundred thousand dollars cash. Ika fumi mfanye mortgage ka domo ni domo ni njoo katafukari waro. Iba wa fila two hundred and fifty thousand dollars 
Kairosu Properties and Investment Limited, the bulk content of some Carol. Kairosu Properties, link us and we make you a home builder. Jamba Sura Grammar, Jamba Sura Fisi Bid de Capi, Damane, Kudan Dow, Nanga Bai Dow, Kudan Halat, Nanga Bai Halat, Paski Original Materials Lenin, Damane, Yeninga Hane Yena Dun Halat, Nakala. Fanla, ak fokoy ame si jamban sriel glamour rek ñoko ame fi fu fu way nek rek ñu indi lako ci sa buntu nek ci sa buntu keer yow su de yaangi yirop bul xalaata ti dara xol ñu rek ñu waxtaan ak yow be djubu sa piece ci sa buntu nek dama ne jamban sriel glamour mi ne duma am boutique te de det man ci askan bi la nek fo len ma wo rek ma tax jamban sriel glamour hek piece bo xalaat amal na len ko fi lu simen facebook taka pentu polman vip Batik, Instagram, WhatsApp, hanai wah deje. Jambang sri alga mo yengu nende askan bi yengu nende kon ma yega lem. Seven eight two five five eight seven wala two nine nine two nine six seven. Betenga email new jambang fatu mk at gmail dot com. Jambang sri alga mo jambang sri alga mo jambang sri alga.